No, it's not any volleyball. It's specifically shirtless beach volleyball. Okay, the question still stands. How? Well, well because what's first base? Well, first well, base is showing each other each other's motorcycles. That's first base. Okay. And then second base is shirtless beach volleyball. Uh huh. And third what's... base is full contact football in the sand. Right, with so uh, with and, no shirt on. Of course. Then what's and a home fourth, run? And uh, fourth, a home no. run is is butt sex on the beach. Whoa! Right. God damn it! Our YouTube uploads is ruined. God damn it, I Bosco! Yep. Yep. I can't take you anywhere. No, you really can't. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my lord. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the sixth stream. Three of us are ill. Yay! Uh, and the other three of us are ill. Ill. Yeah. Keep me to it. <laughs> yeah. So we Connor. Got to ill. <laughs> Connor, you have COVID, don't you? I sure do. Again. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Connor, at least I'm in the country COVID. this time. To be, to be fair, this one wasn't his fault. Yeah, non-foreign <laughs> COVID. I, yeah, the, the, the not-Canadian version, which tastes significantly less maple syrupy. Um, I have, a like, a chest lung cough. I have no mm -hmm. idea. I don't have COVID. I tested for it. And then Gaijin is... I have a sinus infection, so I'm going to make gross throat noises that I will mute. We are sick in three different ways. Welcome to our stream, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Go. Only the best. Have you considered oh. not? Oh damn! I should have done that, Zito. Fuck. Damn, you have no body, that. guys. Fucking skill issue. You're only sick because you're sick in your mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna I don't break think the. That's how yeah. that works. God, God, oh, right. no, 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 Bosco, shut up! I'm not breaking kayfabe on that because I don't have the fucking health insurance to actually break it. <laughs> I appreciate that you use the word kayfabe. I adore you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just use my Bene Gesserit body manipulation powers to fucking not be sick anymore. I gotta, <laughs> I, I gotta manifest that shit with the secret. What, Read you're more Ill? Doctor Strange, and then you're ill you and you need bed rest. Fucking animals. stop doing it. Give it off. Honor, if you, no, don't, Honor, if you don't take the reins on this crazy train, we're fucking never walk get it off. Trains. Uh, Monty, well, you gotta turn your back. You gotta turn your back to the moon and shout out loud. I don't want to be no. sick anymore. That's how American healthcare works. <laughs> Absol right. Absolutely no, not. No, Connor. no, Zan, Connor. You have to, Zan, you have to drink Sprite. That's what I've learned. You drink Sprite with some lemon in it, and then you're cured. It's man, like every, I can't look at Sprite without thinking of that SNL skit, man. It's just, <laughs> I, anyway, Sprite. Connor, how did Sprite, we when did we become the black, the black drink? We don't, we know. don't know. <laughs> Connor, are you good to so good. Uh, I'm. I've been good. <laughs> cool. Take us away. Welcome to the Unexpectables, ladies and gentlemen. We're back, and we're demonetized once again. <laughs> uh, let's go around the horn and introduce ourselves. Starting with... Uh, Gaijin Koopa. We're gonna you you always, you always do that. You know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm, I'm dying on my own flooded lungs. Uh, but, Oof. but... I tried to ford the river. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I had dysentery. I had no choice. Thanks, um... Thanks. That being said, though, I am hard at work against my better judgment. The next video that I'm cranking out hopefully will be live for patrons tomorrow, everybody else either Friday or Saturday. Uh, the one thing I never talked about with my last trip to Japan is I went to the most batshit insane Americana-soaked arcade in Japan. It was a goddamn trip. Uh, there, was, there was so much I love. There's so much I want to share. Uh, whether you like dive bar vibes uh betty boop and, and darth vader racing on on completely accurate nascar go-karts complete with 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 sellout stickers and and horny bomberman that's a thing it's a bomberman waifu moba and i am losing my mind to it so please for the love of god check out my next video that's coming out uh this weekend at some point you will not regret it I'm also very tired. <laughs> you, you just described Wildwood. I was on board until I heard Horny Bomberman, and now I'm a little weirded now out. Now I'm really oh, oh, but, on board. But okay, I okay. Super on board. I want you. I want you to take. I want you to take Shido, like White Bomber, make it uh -huh. like a hot twenty-year-old with like some crazy bazongas, and just like in Senon Kagura, when you blow up, so do your clothes. Don't worry, it's not full frontal. God, Wait, are you saying he it's has? Just, it's dust now. It's gone. <laughs> are, are you saying that sexy bomberman has bomb Hanaga hoogs? Yes, that's amazing. 
Thank you for that reference. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Incredible. Absolutely stunning. Uh, well, up next we've got Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. You can follow the adventures of our brand new pirate cat queen, Bunny, over on Instagram at chonk for life And you can find me on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. Uh, it was going to be tomorrow. Uh, however, uh, just based on the things I still have to do to fix my computers, plural, uh, Friday... Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a subathon slash uh, donathon thingy. Um, we're still, you know, we're good with Bunny's bills, but we're still trying to bounce back from uh, a month that decided to just throw a lot of shit at us. So um, I'll be playing some games, making some music. Uh, LJ will probably be along in and out. Uh, we might finish Stray, which was the last game we were streaming before my first computer melted down. Uh, so, uh, yeah, come on by Friday. I'll probably be starting earlier in the day with some music, uh, and just work on music, uh, for a while until the mood decides to switch, uh, and then we'll have some fun little, uh, little surprises, Easter eggs, and, uh, things that you guys can unlock with subs and stuff like that. Uh, so check Twitter and Blue Sky, Ugh, excuse me, check Twitter and Blue Sky, uh, for more info on that tomorrow, uh, I will try and put up, uh, a semi- a schedule so people can see that um other than that that's that's all i got for now excellent up next we've got zan where can they find you and what are you up to the pause the pause was unsettling was uh, you can find me uh over on twitter if you dare brave at uh, zany underscore grim you can also find me on my twitch channel on mondays at around 7 pst over at twitch.tv slash grim where i run a DD fifth edition campaign for uh monty bosco and a few other our other friends that you might recognize uh and then on Tuesdays, uh, we are currently back at it with uh, Halo Lasso, but now we're on Halo 4, question mark. Uh, it, we did our first run yesterday, and it was nightmaric, but we got through it. Uh, but also be on the lookout for around, it's going to be hopefully Tuesdays, uh, I'm going to be starting a thing with Connor, which is a Shadowrun-based thing, so if you're curious about that, that's in the works and coming very, very soon. Uh, aside from that, Thursdays you can catch me over on Monty's channel, um, where Zan? I, yeah, Mimmo. <gasps> Y'all was fucking go. Literally came out when you started talking. He's <laughs> the Mimmo, Mimmo connection. Whoa, is that I'm so old. What's up, Mimmo? Sorry, Sorry continue. Continue. you're good. Uh, you can find me over on uh, Monty Glue's channel, twitch.tv slash Monty Glue, over on Thursdays at around 7 p.m. PST, where I play an incredibly sad human fighter as we're deep in the dungeon of the Bad Mage. Things are continually developing to be insane in the current level we're in. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Aside from that, that's me. Yeah, you turned the corner and ran into a creature on the cover of the book, and you were like, ah! Yeah! Right, who? Up next is Zito. Where can they find you, and what are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Finished my... Uh, charity stream two weeks ago we raised about uh thirty two hundred dollars which was great thing. uh so chat has forced me to not also play a two who game that i have to figure out which one i'm going to be playing and now i have to also play the baby shark game but that's also when my finances are not fucking like fluctuating at a capacity that scares the shit living shit out of me uh on top of that uh this upcoming week or actually tomorrow i will be streaming a lot of sponsored indie games that are coming out some that are actually on kickstarter right now like break the loop and it's actually kind of like super sick with it uh yeah i'm getting sponsored by a couple of those so that's that's tight uh beyond that friday uh me and a few of my friends will be playing lethal company so you get to see me be a chicken shit live on stream hey. i i i am a coward 
so you know you're gonna be in for a good time when I scream like a little girl 15 decibels higher than I should. I really need to play that game. Probate gifted it to me, and I'm like, okay, I gotta find people to play with now. <laughs> Dude, if let's do it, Gaijin. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna be playing it on noise pollution on Friday, if you wanna hop in. What time are you doing that? Probably around 7 Eastern. I might be at a Godzilla date, but I will let you know. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, hold on the, a second. I love the I internet. I need you to clarify. I love what the that internet is. so much. By, by the way, I also have plans for Knuckle Sandwich, uh, Small Saga, Last Faith, and Anode Heart, which is basically that last one is Digimon World 1, the indie game, but actually fucking decipherable. Ooh. Also, Please buy my son, makeship.com toothpick. He's got seven more days left to live. We're at 130. We got to get him to 200. It's plausible. It could happen. Buy my son. You can buy him for 750 for a bi weekly uh, four payment install instead of just a full, like, whatever the full payment is. So for two weeks, for. For four payments every bi-weekly for, like, a cup of, a really large cup of coffee, you can help my son become real. I posted the link in chat. Real boy. Real. Make him a real boy. Support your indies, please help me. <laughs> right on. Up next, we've got Everbosco. Where can they find you? What are you up to? What's up, folks? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco, where tomorrow we're getting back into Throwback Thursday. It's turkey season. Last week, we played some turkeys. I wouldn't agree that all of them are turkeys, but we played Thunder Castle, which is a real throwback game where we got to kill some dragons. We got to play some Space Jam. That was a Space, Van Space Jam video game. And we played some Air Geist, which was a Square Enix-based fighting game that had a bunch of Final Fantasy VII characters in it. That played a lot like Virtual Fighter that if it was broken. So this coming week, I'm going to subject my teammate Bill Rogers to a game called Bubsy 3D, which I will oh, argue no. might be, How which I might you. argue is the biggest turkey that you could ever play. One of the worst games ever made, I'm and so we're going to suffer through it. It's Wait, you're going to you're, you're going to force Bill to play it? I am. Cool. Ruin he's, him. He's never. He's never Ruin played him. it. Ruin him. So Ruin crazy. him. That's just going to be the end. There, you can never do turkeys again after you play Bubsy 3D because that becomes the low bar you have to clear. Friday is going to be more wrestling. Saturday, Yakuza with Connor. We're going through Like a Dragon. Things are heating up. If you've been missing that stream, you should swing on by. We're also killing it in kart racing. We have destroyed all the side quests, so come on by. Check out the plot now. Sunday is my off day. It's the Lord's Day, watching football. Monday, we're back with Mass Effect and D&D over on Zan's channel, twitch.tv slash Zanalist Grimm. It's a doubleheader. And then Tuesday is Halo Night. Zan told you we're doing a Halo 4 lasso. Not my favorite Halo, not even close, but we're going to lasso it anyway. Boy, is that a frustrating game. And then I'll be back here next week, hopefully. Bosco, remind me to poke you. I have a throwback Thursday suggestion, but you have is to it let a me play with you. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, I if think it's, it's a bad great, game. But... We have to do it in November, but yes, I will poke you. I, I think it's great. Uh, in a bad way? No, genuinely oh. good. Oh, then we'll just have to do it when it's not turkey time. Okay, cool. So, you know, sometime when I'm there. Hmm, if only. Hmm. But that's hmm. me, Connor. Right on. We've got Monty Glue. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow, like Zan said, should hopefully be Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Sorry for no streaming this past week. I was very sick. Um, so we have more Dungeon of the Mad Mage, hopefully tomorrow. Assuming all the players aren't sick. Um, and then Friday, uh, I'm doing Final Fantasy XIV. We just beat a base of Realm Reborn. Uh, and our goal is to do dungeons. There's a lot of dungeons in A Realm Reborn, so we're going to be doing some of them on Friday. Uh, and then Monday uh, is Mass Effect 2. We're back. <laughs> Sorry for such a long break, but we're back playing it. And um, I'm scared of powerful women. That's all I need to say. Uh, <laughs> beyond that, you can find my YouTube, which is uh, the same name, Monty Blue. And then you can also find me on, on Twitter and Blue Sky as well. Finger guns. 
And now Monty understands what Arkov and I are doing when we say it's assuming direct control. <laughs> I get it now. I'm like, I'm, I, I, I. Now you know where you it comes got from. it. <gasps> yeah. I understand. Finally. Assume, yeah. assume direct control. I, I, assume it's like direct control. It's like uh, berserk memes with Connor. It's like now I, I understand. Like the <laughs> yep. world makes sense. It only I took you go. ten and a half years, but you got it. I should go. I know you feel. She gets that different. one too now. <laughs> She also gets the calibrations thing now. It's yeah, oh, I'm so happy. I understand. Have you grown tired yet of someone's so disingenuous assertions? I don't know. I don't know. Shut up. Don't spoil anything, Mark. Not yet. I don't think that's spoilers. I thought it was in the first game. I don't think. Is it? It's nine o'clock. Yeah. Do you oh, know shoot. Where your it is are? not nine o'clock. <sighs> Guess I better get around to me. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Yes, I did, Monty. Uh, okay. I don't see it. Why am I not seeing it? Hang on. Did I hit the enter button? I don't know if you did because I'm not seeing it. I did not Twitter. hit the enter button. Please. <laughs> we'll do it. I was confused. I was looking yeah, for it. Yeah, that's, you know, uh, that's had like a skill issue, Connor. All I had to do was hit post. <laughs> hey, you know what? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, uh, also Twitter and Blue, or Tumblr and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil, uh, streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, yeah, I'm playing through a bunch of different games. Check me out. Also, check out, uh, my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content, including the Fulgromancer Spellbook, which is out now. Uh, Get yourself some lightning spells for you, 5th edition. Uh, you can also hear me uh, as Adrian Bakunin in Ghost Runner 2. Yeah! I'll be streaming that soon. Oh, yeah. yeah. You sound really good in that game. It's ah, shucks. Good performance. <clears throat> Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, other than that, I think there's not much going on in Casa de Devil, but... Uh, I should mention that this episode is brought to you in part by Die Hard Eyes. Die Hard Dice. I just, I just want to point out, I love you, Die Hard Dice, but I'm just going to say, I feel like the Die Hard Dice just, like, is really, like, we had our one shot last week. It was, I was rolling a lot of ones. So I've got a different <laughs> setup right now because my Celestic betrayed me, so. Oh, so we so, have to so, suffer So for... doing their job is what you're saying. Mark Allen Jr., can you bless these dice to roll low? I don't even have to do anything. Oh, I'm fair here, enough. So. <laughs> My aura extends beyond the internet. Uh, yes, Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to DieHardDice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. I mentioned Yay. this when we had our one shot. Now is a fantastic time to order stuff. Uh, and dice, if you play D and D with friends um, or have a dungeon master, they make for a really, really good gift, legitimately. Mm -hmm. Buy them now. Consume product. Mm -hmm. Be sure to pick them up. Don't consume uh, the product. Don't eat the dice. I meant that. I meant that in a capitalistic product. way. We are not. Suable. Legally responsible for any not of suable. your own actions. <laughs> We're also not responsible. We're not suable. Diplomatic yes. immunity. Mm -hmm. uh, use the code unexpectable to save 10% on your order. Uh, also, check out our spring store. We got all sorts of different designs out there. You can get all sorts of different merch, apparel, what's, who's it's, and whatnot. Uh, check us out there. Uh, we also couldn't keep doing this weekend we got without bits and subs from viewers like you. And yep. I say, hey. Oh, hey. good luck. Rap guy. Right. Right. God. Dragon Alchemist, thank you for the 43 months. Vince Babagadoosh, thank you for the 20 months of Prime subage. Not Dante, 42, thank you for the 44 months. Snakeman, 76, thank you for the 19 months. Cuban Dragon, thank you for the 38 months of Prime. Bill MSU, thank you for the 42 months. Zen Lee, thank you for the 100 bits. Skeletalpha, thank you for the 44 months. Rar Hockey Dude, thank you for the 26 months. 
Oh no! Uh, stay, with us, stay with us, Connor. Stay with us, Connor. Come on. For the, uh, six, uh, thank you for the seven months of Prime. Uh, Callum Draws, thank you for the 90 bits. Donut Specialist Z, thank you for the 20 months. <laughs> Gauze 21, thank you for the 10 bits. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Erwin Elf, thank you for the 40 months. Lynn Raven, thank you for the 12 months. Reasonable Rex, thank you for the Raven Party of Five. Uh, huh? 20? 20? 20 com, 20 com Electrum, thank you for the 2.1 thousand bits. Uh, Reasonable Rex, thank you for the 41 months. Game and Anime, thank you for the 26 months. Core and Solus, thank you for the 100 bits. Dr. Caliban, thank you for the 41 months. Brawl Kaiser, thank you for the 14 months. King Night Owl, thank you for the 38 months. Nolan Void, thank you for the 100 bits. Simon's the Cat, er, wait, no, Smith. Smissions the Cat? <laughs> Hell yeah. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Is it not, is it smidgen? No, it's smissions. S-M-I-T-I-O-N-S. -I -I huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually smite ions, but you know, common. Smite ions. <laughs> Whatever. A Moody Moogle, thank you for the 14 months. Soothe Seer, thank you for the 26 months. Gin no Kase, thank you for the 44 months. Gaben's Prophet, thank you for the 31 months. Kuro Okami, thank you for the 38 months. Morth Randor, thank you for the 100 bits. Mud Martin, thank you for the, uh, oh shoot, uh, thank you for the 42 months. Uh, Beach Cowboy, 1993, thank you for the 100 bits. Mad Scientist IRL, thank you for the 40 months. Small Nyanta, thank you for the 100 bits. Beach Cowboy, thank you for the additional 100 bits. Mad, wait, I think those are repeating. These are all repeating. Oh no. Fuck? Repeating, of course. All right, anyway, uh, d -d 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 yes, I believe that's it in that case. I believe we're good. We're good? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, <laughs> sorry, I was caught off guard. I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's over. It's over. All right, well, with that, are you guys ready to jump back in to the unexpected world? Noise, boys, night. Who is who is crunkling? Sorry, I'll thousand go. years jail. <laughs> I need a lozenge. It's all good. Get ready, chat. Been holding it in. They've been holding it in for for two weeks because we didn't play the intro during the one shot. So. Stop being gross. <laughs> all right. So, when last we left our heroes, Otho, the shifter rogue, Gaius, the satyr fighter, Kai, the human wizard, Iskan, the lizardfolk druid, Milo, the Azamar cleric, 
and a newfound friend in Stragal, the Kenku Wizard. After enjoying a drunken game of Princess Keepaway, the party received their main prize of the Grand Hunt, masterwork bone weapons and armaments made from the mighty sand drakes they felled by their hands, or rather sand worms, apologies. After some rushed research in quite the literal sense, Ayo was able to determine a local flora that would work as a catalyst for the medicine that the party has come to, Del to Delvaria to procure. Now joined by Rare Girard, the violent executioner prince of Delvaria, and no one else, the party makes their way to a lost oasis to search for the mystical flower, the Esavito. But with Rare Girard their sole guide and the dangers of Delvaria fresh before them, we now return to the Unexpectables. So, as you all wake up for the morning, kind of readying yourself for this journey, uh, Rare Girard kind of guides you towards the Colosseum, which also seems to act as like a stable or like an animal holding area. Hmm. Nice. Uh, I as he, he has rides for us. As he enters inside, he kind of walks down the hallways. You do see a lot of berserkers currently training with other warriors. Um... Also, I think someone's microphone is, is static yeah. a little bit. I think it's Bosco. It might be you. Me? Just double check, me check your cords. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is you. Ooh. Did that fix it? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> um, we're we're back, you... folks. <laughs> we're back. Welcome back. <laughs> oh. As you kind of make your way in, the inside of this chamber, even with the lit torches, is dark, and there's a ever-present smell of kind of animal dung and straw. Uh, however, as you make your way inside, Rerjar kind of leading you forward, he turns behind himself and kind of gives you all a side eye as he kind of looks and goes, I'm assuming you have ridden based off of the woman you traveled with to get here. Indeed. Uh, we've learned a bit of, uh, I suppose, the trade, but I wouldn't say we're necessarily proficient. War boars are different than the average traveling boar they're heavier sturdier a little bit slower but much more fearsome in battle we'll be taking some they are impressive creatures indeed i've learned to trust them far more now that we've ridden across uh well, Dalvaria on them still will you be taking ragnarok or traveling with one of ours I'll be taking my boar. He watches, he gets to the massive door, and Eskin, you remember this room, because you woke up here. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, a perfect Eskin, like, indent in, like, the pile of straw next to him. <laughs> Wait, Mark, did you say you were covered in gore? Boar. Yeah, you're definitely covered in boar. You bore me. Uh, Rare are like, with one hand, just, like, it's almost like, like, the sort of giant latch you'd see on the front of like a door to like hold it in place during an invasion. Um, but Rezra just takes the board, lifts it up, and then opens up the thing. And you watch as this absolutely colossal animal is the best way to describe it. Uh, kind of actually very intelligently kind of trots out. Um, and Rezra kind of begins to essentially like put on a saddle and you have to kind of help him. Even though he's a strong man, it, it, it clearly is a multi-person endeavor. How tall is this pig? Oh my god. I'd say probably, like, ten feet from, like, the, the highest point, probably. Ten feet tall. Ooh. Like, this thing is easily, like, a multi-ton <clears throat> heavy animal. Um, Rude. I'm sorry. It's true. <laughs> You do also notice, compared to Humphrey, he's a little pudgier, honestly. He's got a little bit more chunk to him. Um, is, it, what, is it, like, sturdiness, or is it, like... Someone's been feeding wow. him a lot of treats, you get the sense, just at a glance. Uh, um, hmm. However, as Roger kind of saddles him up and you know, tightens it, the boar is... Ragnarok's very well behaved, he just stands. Um, something kind of different, whereas Heather's boar, Humphrey... Um, you know, had like sort of like painted tusks. This this war boar's tusk specifically seemed to be set with like metal spikes, probably meant for like sweeping attacks or Ooh. some manner of like you know flail like attack, similar to your mace, Milo, but with more mm. spikes at the end, essentially. Right. 
are they gilded or is it something affixed to his tusks? It looks like they, like, you can actually see where he's checking on it. It looks like they probably cut into the tusk and then oh, added wow. these onto it, basically, like, as a permanent attachment. Kind of reminds... Bedazzling. It, it, it kind of reminds me of the uh, the elephants from Lord of the Rings with how that's, they had those caps. That's very apt, yeah. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. I was, I was going to say a horseshoe, but violent and on the face but that's a much better description <laughs> violent horseshoe <laughs> just, a, on the face. A hor just a fucking giant horseshoe right on his forehead with a nail <laughs> um once he kind of gets his boar done uh he walks over and procures three more boars not as large as ragnarok 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 seems to be a beast but still slightly larger than humphrey um these boars are also like their coats are kind of a different color as well um whereas like humphrey was more of a darker kind of fur these ones are actually like kind of the same color as the terrain that you've seen in delvaria mm -hmm. um these ones are smaller comparatively uh but they kind of have the same fixes to them they seem to have weapons attached to them and, and basically like combat saddles the saddles are even made differently they're not really made for like aerodynamics they seem to be made for like you know to steady you if you want to fight on these things hmm. uh, Strigal will attempt to get on the saddled control area of this of one of the boars we have to make our way of, around the Arcastoria lake so we'll have a few days journey excellent I have not been to this far part of Delvaria so I look forward to seeing what's out there Anything we should wor be worried ar about around the lake? Everything. <laughs> Anything Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Anything in specific? Don't, don't breathe. <laughs> Got it. Oh, don't, it was a mistake for you to come out here. Don't even think about blinking. <laughs> yeah, I would never recommend anyone go out there alone. Uh, Iskan will sort of approach one of the boars uh, with like a calming hand. Uh, and try and familiarize uh, himself with the boar, much as he did with Humphrey before climbing on. Animal handling. Oh, oh shit. no. Now, I got this. Hold on. This is going to be great. Oh, don't say that. Oh, I got don't it. Don't worry. Do don't worry. That. You're doomed. I got it. I got it. 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you pet the boar. Unlike Humphrey, who where Humphrey would be like, yay, petting these boar, like, they stand very still. But there's one easily betraying feature to them, and that is their tails, which sweep back and forth as you pet them. They're like mm -hmm. stone faced, like warriors of like, you know, boar warriors. And the moment you pet them, their tail is like wish, 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 wish in the back. That's all the information I need. Oh, the cast tin ice man has a heart after all. I'll make gentle eye contact and then I'll, I will climb into the pilot's chair. <laughs> yeah, you climb up top. There's like ropes that bring you up there. Honestly, like probably like these are high quality saddles. They're actually quite comfortable and they're clearly sectioned off for two riders. One hey, in the front and one in the back. Oh, I see how this works. Hey Monty. Mm-hmm. I am proficient in vehicles. Does this matter? <laughs> at all? I mean you didn't say land crap. Um I'm Monty, you are having us drive tanks. A it's a valid, this, these things it's a are valid tanks. Question. It's a valid question. You if know it doesn't what? get used on this, when would it ever get used? On wagons. It's specifically intended for wagons, but Which these are, are pulled by animals. Pulled. But mm -hmm. you are you are horseback riding technically. We had to be technical about this. However, these are I would say these are more akin to like chariot s kind of rides even though they're not chariots themselves so i will say yes i'll let it apply Let's because go. these are unique Fuck saddles yeah. i'm gonna saddle up with Eastgan. all right Eastgan and milo you are together team me scan let's go team healers don't let us die <laughs> uh if i can heal the boar better than myself this time Strigal's going to uh climb into the hog pit of one of them Get saddled in. Hog pit. I love it. All right. Sure enough. Over this pit up. I think. I think my main question would be who's in the front and who's in the back, just for the sake of like organizing. I'll. It. I'll be in the 
back because I'm pretty sure my handle animaling handle animaling. Oh my god, <laughs> the the thing. Animaling. Uh, I've got okay. So Mark, I'm at a five. What are you at? Four. Okay, I'll take the range but, then. But Eastgen already was in the front seat, so. I can I can move I can move you I can sometimes get I can get in your no, lap. I want to drive. No, no. Sometimes <laughs> it's not about the stat modifier. Sometimes it's just about one and the Are the points. are the brothers going together? Uh, we can't because I think uh, Strigal <clears> just hopped <throat> in the seat of the other one. So we have to split up. Well, jeez. Oh, there's three. Right I get Otho. Strigal gets three Otho. Three of them. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> I've been apprehended. <laughs> what the fuck? I always get picked last for fucking pig riding. God dang it! Strigal has all with Otho. Hey, means... I need, I need a, I need. You know what I need? I need Bullshit. a coward ranger. I need a coward ranger. Get on. Oh my god, I'm proficient in coward. I'm getting on. Yeah, there you go. Let's go. Come <laughs> Let's on. Go. Let's go. Uh... As you guys mount up, uh, Roger also mounts up, and this, this. The ceilings in here are tall, but they're not generous. So he's actually like leaning forward, trying not to hit the ceiling, as he kind of gently kicks the side of his boar, and Ragnarok kind of gently plods his way out, and your boar just immediately follow. It's interesting, they don't follow in the line, they follow in like a V formation. Hmm. Specifically. Uh, with, however, with at... only four of us, would you say it's closer to a check mark or is it like two on each branch like an upside down check mark okay yeah like geese hell yeah Going as you make your way summer. out however uh you begin to plod towards the front entrance of the stronghold we're gonna have to come wow. up with code names for our pigs no the fuck we are not <laughs> Mine's red shirt. Yours is <laughs> <laughs> backup up rations. You got the red shirt freshman. Uh, uh, ours is uh, Captain Pigard. And crispy bacon. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, ours you... is going to be Lord Fauntleroy. As Why you guys... Like Kevin Bacon? As you guys make your way out, uh, immediately you see kind of standing on the edge of those like sort of walkways that are, you know... The breezeways that are used in the stronghold. You see currently Redman with a, both hands on his hip, standing tall, kind of gives you all a bit of a wave. Uh, and you see currently Aya kind of like waving you all off, almost like a farewell. Um, as Rare Jar just kind of gives her a nod and she kind of nods back, but then she turns to you and gives you a nod as well, mostly towards you, Milo. Probably oh. just like, you know, yeah. hey, you have the jar, you have. You have a responsibility. I have, I have the spell prepped. No worries. <laughs> However, as you make your way into the city, uh, the city parts way immediately. Like, it is... The parade was, like, crowds, but the moment you enter into the city, all business that is occurring between people, they, it's just, like, pause button, and they split apart. The smells of perfume and the hot air and the blowing of the wind and sand kind of hits you all as the Delvarians make their way through, and very quickly you find yourself outside of the gates of Arcastoria and heading into the open wilds of Delvaria Ooh. once again. On the road again. The good news is, it is a hot day, but it is not a, an excessively hot day. Um, and the wind is incredibly stagnant and still. It is probably the stillest day that you've had of no wind whatsoever as you make your way out that morning. Are there any clouds in the sky? Uh, as you look up, there's no clouds in the sky whatsoever. Okay, good. The cap is holding. We're safe. Yeah, you've never really seen clouds in Delvaria, to be fair. Hey, Air's this could be the one day. <laughs> Air's a myth. <laughs> dude, dude, I didn't realize we were in Arizona. <laughs> Basically. However, as you reach the edge of the city lines, and there's no more, what can I say is obstacles for your just massive tanks of boar, <laughs> Rejar gives a sharp call whistle, and then immediately you are all hit by the speed of these boar that immediately take off into the desolate wasteland. Backwards long jumped. Let's go. Do we, do we quite go to plaid? I get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do Thank too. You, Zito. Nice. That's not what I want. I was about to say, that's Fallout Ambience. That's creepy, yeah. <laughs> Feels like Gateway. As you, oh no. Every Saturday. It's I remember the Gateway. Way slash the <laughs> no, Connor, it's okay. It's back in the new year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we're going south to go north? Interesting. We're going believe... wherever we feel like. Wherever the wind may blow. I believe it was north west, if I'm not mistaken, correct? <sighs> um, I don't have a direction on my notes. Yeah, we were just told to look for the flower. Yeah, we're we're, we're uh, just following Beef McLarge okay. here. He yeah, knows the way. He knows where it is. <laughs> Roll fizzle beef. So it's wherever you want it to be, Monty. Oh, I, I have a marker for it, personally, because Rare Gerard does have an idea of where it could potentially be. Then lead on, Valiant. Okay, well, while we are blazing down the uh, natural trails, uh, Eastgen's just going to shout over towards Rare Gerard. So where exactly are we going? We're going north. Can you be more specific? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one, Mark. I'm sorry. No, I know. You, you don't exactly in, know where these places are. You stumble upon them. Well, by and all means, lead away. The best way to know where these things are is to know where the gnolls are going, specifically the green thorns. They tend to congregate within areas around the oases. Will they have a problem with us taking the flower? That's for you to find out. I have no stake in this. <laughs> hey! God. Damn. Jesus. I had some questions right, for asshole. them anyway, so this will work out. Well, you know, I'm happy for you. I love this World of Warcraft quest. <laughs> You know, there was a slight moment the last time we played this game where I was like, you know, maybe he's not such a... No, actually, fuck him. No, nah, he's, he's just a dick. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, no, no. fuck you. We need to act... No, we need to get him drunk first, then we talk to him. Ah, uh, you're right. I don't want to talk to him while he's drunk either. As the day of travel progresses, what immediately catches you off guard is the fact that these boar never stop. Oh, man. They don't stop. Like, you are literally riding on the saddle the entire time you are on these things. Uh, <clears throat> they stop. just go. Don't stop. Don't stop till you get it in. Pig train has no brakes. All aboard! As you, <laughs> as you travel, you actually see, for a bit, the coastline of the Arc Astoria Lake. Specifically... That there's actually a lot of farming here, and it looks like very plentiful farming as well. What, are we able to tell what they're farming? Uh, it looks to be very hardy wheat vegetables. Um, you see what looks to be Milo. You could recognize like some of the formations given your experience, and mm. probably Eastgan as well, with just your knowledge about food and, and nature. Um, it looks to be like tubers, like you know, specific mm -hmm. tubers. You don't see a lot of livestock, probably due to just the abundance of hunting nearby. Um, but you do notice a lot of, like, rich, hearty, probably very resilient vegetables. You also notice a lot of large palm-like trees that have these giant... You actually saw them before. They're like these giant clusters. They look like pine cones, but circular and compressed and just huge. Which you remember, if you take one of those pieces, it's almost like a giant, like, fist-sized corn kernel. Mm. If you cut it in half, inside is like a jelly-like fruit that seems to be a very popular staple here. Do they have Do they have any sort of uh, grains, or is that too... Oh, yeah. That's that's okay. the, the, the stock vegetables, the wheat stock vegetables. They seem to have a lot of, like, okay. barley, like, some sort of barley equivalent. Um, and they seem to be growing a lot of it successfully. Hmm. However, eventually you lose sight of the Arc Astoria and even the lake as you continue on into just that terrain that you remember traveling through with the canyon-like rocks and the large kind of sprawling fields of just 
brush shrubs and you know rocks here and there skeletons kind of here and there you see peppered about interestingly enough mostly this time of horses and some of boars um given that this is a capital city it doesn't really surprise you however as the sun just slightly begins to set you see as Rajar gives another sharp whistle and the boar panting you now notice as they come to a slow stop the heavy breathing beneath you as they kind of begin to pant and come to a stop Jeez. That's as far as we go for the day. And he watches Rajar slides off his boar. You said it's just before sundown? Yeah, there's no sunset yet. It is just like there's still some daylight. If you had to guess the time, it's probably like like maybe a four o'clock in the evening. How wide okay. open is the area that we're in? Oh, you are in the middle, like open in the middle of nowhere. So definitely Threshermont territory. Good to know. Uh, uh, from the top of Lord Fauntleroy, um, Iskan's going to kind of just scan the area nearby to see if he can find signs of water root. Okay, go for it. Go ahead and roll a survival check for me. May I assist? Uh, yeah, sure. Good luck. Well, uh, 17 with advantage. Why are, there there three, why are there three re, three rolls? Uh, the oh, oh right. The first one was to pet the boar. I'm so sorry. Ye. Uh, as you, <laughs> interestingly enough, as you guys begin to kind of dig into the earth, the moment you like actually find one, immediately you just feel yourself being just gently brushed away by the side of the head of the boar that immediately are like, <laughs> oh, cool, food, we're thirsty. They've been running all day. They actually like yeah. nudge you aside and just immediately go at it. Mm. Yeah, there you go. I was looking for it for you anyway, so. And he'll gently pat the side of the boar's head. Instantly loses a finger. <laughs> Again, total, like, like stoicness, but then the, the tail betrays. Hell yeah, <laughs> the tail betrays. Um, if anybody's thirsty, I could just make water. If we've got a place to put it. You can make water. Oi! Hmm. Ice holds up the bucket. I what? make the water in the bucket. <laughs> Why does that have a face on it? It's a long He's part... story. He's part of this team, and you will put respect on him. He's been I only respect the great warriors and my wife. <laughs> it's it's Let's like that in at the end there, real quick. It's, yeah. he, he, he turns and looks back at the fucking at at, at the bucket. It's got a short sword <laughs> sitting next to it. Oh shit! <laughs> Layering angrily. Rajar kind of unshoulders some of his own stuff and seems to be like kind of shoulder a bedroll. And he turns around to go. You strange foreigners can make water. Can you make fire as well? Oh, easily. Hmm. Very well. We've got our utility, Milo. <laughs> Swiss Army, Milo. I. Can... <laughs> I can Stragall... make Julian fries. <laughs> Stragall is going to cast uh, some Unseen Servant uh, to try to help make the camp really quickly. Got it. You guys kind of dig a hole. You know, you put your rocks around it. There's not a lot of tinder. There's, like, brushes you can kind of make a small fire with to cook with, but that's probably not going to last the night. Um, mm -hmm. I imagine everyone kind of, like, you know, takes off their bedrolls, their tents, things like that. However, as time kind of passes, Rajar kind of, like, is just kind of checking around, and you actually see him, like, leaning over something, like, kind of, like, not, like, on one knee, but, like, L formation, like, leaning over to look down <laughs> at something, and you see him kind of reach out and then reach his hand back suddenly, and he doesn't turn to look at you, and he goes, Iskan, Gaius, I have a task for you. Shuffle on over. As you walk uh, over to him, for you. you see currently coiling, hissing, its tail twitching side to side, a massive snake, oh. huge, that blends in almost perfectly into the terrain. Oh. Oh. I found dinner for tonight. Well, grab it! Uh. Dinner? Yes, dinner. Well, well, he fucking said it. On arm strike. Okay, go for it. 
fucking stunning strike the snake. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, not even strike, strike. I, I remember I have my fucking stranglehold. Let's go. Just I choke this him. poor snake out. <laughs> get, Put him in the sleeper that, hold. Constrict the constrictor. That dude slapping Ten. the cobra. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that poor cobra. I feel so bad. Poor thing. Team. As as you reach out to grab it, you grab its center and immediately twist its head around and is going to go for a bite attack against you. All right, fucker, let's do this. Uh, that is going to be an eighteen to hit. God what the dang. fuck? M meets it beats. Sorry, I need you to make a uh Constitution saving throw for me as well. Yahoo, eighteen. Ooh. Okay. You go to reach and you grab the center and this thing whips around and bites you, but you manage to like let go and pull back before like its venom can take hold as you can actually see it like leaking out and spilling onto the darkened sand around it as it hisses closely. Cool. Grishar kind of crosses his arm and goes, the back of the head is an ideal place to grab a snake. Keeps the fangs in front and it keeps them alive if you want to capture and sell them in town. At least that's what I've heard. Can I bonus action grapple this fucker? Yeah, go for it. Well, actually, hold on. No, sorry. Hang on. That's yeah. the damage. Oh. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, wrong button. Don't wrong you have button. to hit to grapple it? Okay, that's better. As you go to grab this thing, it rolled a natural 20. I'm so sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck, what the fuck man? Is this? Slippery snake. All right. Hit as, you, as you grab it, you get a hold of it, but like... The, just the strength of this creature. Like, you're holding it, but, like, it actually begins to coil around you, and you're like, shit! Because this thing, you just feel it. It's just raw muscle. Raw muscle, and it is now, like, on the defensive. Finally a worthy challenge. <laughs> <laughs> the best fight uh, he's ever had is a fucking... A few, uh, a fellow pugilist! Finally! Oh <laughs> nice! As this is happening, Rarejar kind of looks expectantly towards you, Iskan. Like, what are you doing? Gaius, back up from it for a moment. How? It's coiled around me! Well, <laughs> can you get out of it? Apparently not on this turn! <laughs> Should we roll for initiative? Yeah, give me six seconds. No, we don't need initiative here. It's between the two of them. Just, just you can fucking ice knife this great. thing and be done with it. You like kind of take your your hoof, Gaius, and like you can shove it off your arm. You just have to like force it off because it's oh, like. Oh, fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, you drop it to the ground and e scan. What do you do? Is this thing kind of hits the ground and immediately goes back to that coil position and like lashes towards you? Uh. Kind of the same way that he approached both the axe beaks and the boars. Uh, he's going to kind of hold out a hand, uh, attempting to kind of get the attention of the snake, but also to be sort of unintimidating, trying to calm the snake down. Okay. I'd say roll an animal handling for this. Uh, an 11. As you kind of try and calm it, it like lashes and you like you kind of like jump backwards. You react really quickly, but it doesn't seem calm. Rarejar turns to you and goes, "It is an animal. You are an animal. It is cornered and it knows it is going to die. It is just trying to survive for a bit longer." Why uh, exactly are we trying to make this dinner? Because it's too close to Ark Astoria. These particular snakes tend to go into domiciles, homes, and have been known to bite and kill children. When he says that, Iskan's face will kind of change a little bit. Um, and instead of trying to be calming, uh, he is going to uh, activate uh, his... Where is it? I'm blind! Uh, he's going to activate uh, his starry form uh, with the chalice... Okay. Uh, and as he, uh, as his eyes begin to glow, uh, all right, guys, give it another shot. All right, guys. Do you want me to? Okay, am I still having to hit this thing with my bare hands, or am I going with a weapon? It seems like he wants you to grab it specifically. Okay. Could, I, could Here I speak up before he does this? Okay. Sure. Remember, saying... Mister. Remember, Mr. Agni, behind the head, and I'm going to use Master of Tactics to give you advantage. Hey! Hey, must be the money. Because I have 
I got a plan if this doesn't work. 13. 13? Okay, that's to hit. Yup. I'm gonna say that Eskin's flanking with you, assuming that Eskin, you'd be smart enough to do that, given yeah. what you're doing right now, kind of occupying the snake. Yeah. Because a 13 will not hit, but a 15 absolutely will. You lash out and grab this thing by the neck this time, Gaius, and it yeah. begins to try and coil around. What do you do, Eskin, as Gaius is holding it? Um, <clears throat> that is a fantastic question. What can I do that isn't going to fry the snake? Give it I a little like haymaker. You I, could grab I its have, tail. That's a, that's an option. I I do have an idea if it takes if it if it goes to do something. So take your turn. I have an idea. Uh. Yeah, I guess I'll just give him a hand and try and keep it from wrapping around him. Okay. I'm say go ahead and roll a um an athletics check or yeah athletics would be with advantage because guys is currently holding its hand like its head and it's trying to coil around him right now i can't this only ever seems to want to actually there we go did i get it no it's gone all right i'll just roll twice it's fine come on second roll Nope, it's a five. Oh, okay. You grab the tail and kind of pull, trying to straighten this thing out, but it's tied itself in kind of a knot. Cool. Monty? Mm-hmm. Stone rune. You got Guys, it. Guys yeah. yawns in its face. That is a charisma saving throw or wisdom? Nope, it is a wisdom saving throw. Be the DC 14. Okay, plus zero. <laughs> Good luck, snake. That is a five. The snake goes yeah. slack. And Iskan, you're able to grab the tail, and this is like a 15 foot long snake. It's huge. Holy shit! Yeah, this Good is a massive man. snake. It's like a python, but it's it seems to be like very venomous. Did we just fucking catch a titano boa? What the fuck? The no. anaconda Anaca Anaca didn't want them. As this you like kind of Se Sephiroth for this campaign. Thank you, Mark. That was a reach. <laughs> That's a good one, though. Zan. As you pull it the entire thing lengthwise, Rejar actually unsheaths a small, small, quotation marks, dagger from his side, and he kind of walks up to the snake as you, like, you're literally holding it end to end, like, like a jump rope. Uh, he turns towards you, Milo, and he goes, do you have a cup, some sort of mug to drink from? Oh, yeah, I got one right here. I, I think we all still have those wood cups from way yeah, back when. Those, yes, those we do. Mugs. Yes, mm -hmm. we do, baby from the whiskey barrel. Oh yeah, that's right. You hand him one? Yeah. He takes it and kind of looks at it like, oh, a wooden cup? <laughs> oh, not uh, wood. <laughs> they really are fancy. They use wood as drinking utensils. He kind of looks at it for a brief moment and he watches, he kind of reaches into his pocket and he pulls out uh, the, the scorpion wine. <laughs> oh. Like, He's got, like, a bottle of... It doesn't have anything in it. Like, it doesn't have a creature in it, but it's, like, a small, like, alcohol bottle. Um, very similar in design to the one that had the... Sorry, it was snake. That was right. It was snake wine mm, in it. Yeah. Uh, smaller and looking like a clear liquid. He pours a bit into the, um, into the cup that you give him, mm. and then he walks up to the snake, and you just watch as he just very quickly just drives the blade into the, to the snake, and it just immediately... It was already slack, but it is, like, it's done. Super um, dead. It's super dead. He just quickly does it like a hunter. But then you watch as he kind of, like, makes sure you both you were holding it up out of the sand, and he kind of runs his hand down the stomach until he stops at a point and just kind of waits. And then he takes the dagger and kind of cuts into it, and you mm. see, like, there's just blood everywhere. He's covered in blood, and he pulls out what is the still beating heart of the snake, and he puts it in with the alcohol, and he kind of holds it up and goes, who's drinking it? Uh, what? Police can immediately just vomit. <laughs> Believe it or not, Milo would like to try it. I, I, I would give it a shot, too, considering my constitution score. Is he... Is he is he mixing it in with wine? Is that what it's that like? What some heard? sort of it's some sort of hard alcohol. He just put a mm. beating snake heart into alcohol and is like, who's drinking it? 
Don't, I, I was about to say, I've seen this actually done like it. Oh, where is it? I think like India? One this of the. crazy. We're, we're not ingesting more snake Viagra. Are we? Oh my God. I, well, you're about to find out if it has that effect uh, on you. I am all for novel drinking experiences, so I will also partake. So I guess three of us? There's only one. There's one heart, one person drinks it. Oh, well. <laughs> By all it... means, either... Well, I don't think Mr. Seaflolly is going to... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Guys, he kind of holds up the glass. You should drink this. Oh boy, peer pressure. Clug. He called you he called you a bitch. <laughs> Clug. Yeah, the hat. It's okay. First of all, constitution saving throw for me, please. <laughs> there no, it is. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I knew. I knew. Makes sense. You got this. Uh I I I accidentally clicked out the tab, so I'm trying to get my shit back up again. <laughs> oh, no. no, no, it's fine. Oh, Here we oh go. It, it it's coming. Yeah. Yes! Ooh. What do we got? You, 15. As you take the glass, the heart is still beating. You just are like, screw it. You just knock it back. What surprises you first is the warmth of the drink. Um, and then following that is like the sensation that goes down your throat. Ugh. It's a very like spine tingling feeling. <laughs> but you swallow it and you're like Bleh. I love I, lo I love tequila shots with no chaser I love it <laughs> Yeah. the chaser is snake blood <laughs> Basically, yeah. the Very chaser irony. is the salt from the tears you cry as you the, the, swallow it. the fucking chaser is a still beating snake sausage it fucking is like vodka mixed with just blood that is the best way to describe it and it's I... it's not pleasant at all. But as What's you the... drink it, uh, Rajar kind of looks to you and like, it's not like pride, he just nods to you like, yep. What? I... You drank a heart, all right. Cool. I guess. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what does that do? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> Old warriors say it has a few different properties. Usually it means you're going to strike the, frong the strongest for the next week. If you're trying to have a baby, you're more likely to have one who's going to be a warrior. Things like that. Oh my god. I just drank a witch's concoction. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you're gonna give birth to the best damn warrior. I'm, I'm, in the, yeah, I'm on a fucking witch quest, dude. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you watch as Rajar begins to kind of like carve into the snake. And he doesn't, Milo, what really impresses you is that there's no like counter that he's working on. There's also no like mm -hmm. leaves or like tarp that he's working on. But he's so carefully carving into the animal to prevent the meat from hitting the sand and basically mm. spoiling it as he cuts through. Whenever you, you don't need me here, just let me know. You're fine. You did well. Uh. Milo, come here. Hi. You, uh. you like to do the... He waves his hand cooking thing, the, my wife says. I immediately... I, I pull out five different <laughs> herbs and spices in both my hands. <laughs> As you come over, Eastman's just going to shove the tail of the snake into your hands and run off to the side of camp. It's just fucking, it's him fucking making the slam chop fucking pop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll put him away. What'd you have in mind? Mm, he kind of looks towards the rest of the party. None of you are women, so he kind of cuts fuck? in. Wait a second! Yeah, he just says that. He starts cutting into what the, the snake. What the fuck is wrong with huh. this? Boys, <laughs> night! <laughs> Boys, night! No oh girls God. allowed! He, he pulls out what looks to be like a long tube-like organ, and it's like very dark colored. He goes, you see what this is? You know what this is? It looks like some kind of intestine or something. It's a liver, actually. It looks like an intestine, but it's actually the snake's liver. It's also oh. long. I see. Usually, and he kind of like cuts it from like the inner workings. By the way, I'm very sorry, Chad. This is kind of gross, but I don't know what to tell you. They hunting. eat off the land. They Dude, hunt. It's, it's, it's the way they live. Um, he kind of cuts it from the rest of the insides and kind of hands it to you, like like a okay. <laughs> like you know, look at this thing, just blood in your hands. 
Uh, he kind of looks down at you and he goes, usually, if we have women traveling with us, there's a priority system to who eats that, actually. Men are barely get to eat snake liver, actually. So, how, how, how do you how do you sort of prepare it? <clears throat> uh, usually in a pan. Just fry it with some salt. That's about mm. it. Something simple. Yeah. I can appreciate that. I can't wait for this guy to look over at Kai and tell him to eat something and goes, I can't believe you ate that, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your distance, oh. Jerry. Oh my god, he actually you did act it. You actually ate the salted snake liver? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you idiot. Aya's gonna be pissed. Is there, is there, are there, are there any other parts he wants me to prep for the salt pan? Uh, he seems to be kind of going through the parts. He's also being very meticulous, and he, mm. he basically takes the head off. He chucks the head. You also notice he's very careful with the head before he just hucks it, mm -hmm. probably because there's probably venom in there. Right. Um, however, as he's kind of cutting, he continues to explain, and he's just like, when we cut up a snake, the liver goes to the pregnant women first, if there's no pregnant women, any woman who wants it. Um, and if there's no women, usually the most injured person, if anyone is injured, and beyond that, whoever feels the weakest for the day. Hmm. But it must, Interesting. It must be eaten. I think, well, I could fry that up if, if there's anything else you need me to cook. Mm, he kind of pulls out like a bile sack and he's just like, uh, he grabs the uh, he grabs the same uh, cup with the blood still in it and he pours the bile into it and adds some liquor and goes, who wants this one? Go get him, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta cook, man. You gotta let him cook. You've got this. <laughs> you know, I'm actually curious. Could we cook with that? I've heard oh. of people cooking with it, but usually with vegetables we have in the main cities. I just think he'd give it a nice kind of kick. I mean, if we're gonna drink it anyway, might as well be able to share it with everyone through the meat. I already poured the alcohol. Just drink it. He kind of shoves it into your hand, oh! kind of forcefully. <laughs> I bet she just shucks it in my mouth, like bottle it into my mouth. on your toe, and your mouth opens like a fucking garbage pail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what con save? Just a con save for it. We sixteen. Hey. Oh, Whereas before God. the sensation was what made you like. Ugh, this is just pure taste. Ooh. It feels like every single inch of your mouth has been barraged and just absolutely ravished by, um, like, orange peels. And, like, <laughs> your, and like the really sour part of kale, if you've ever had kale and you're like, Ugh. Oh, oh my god, Gaijin. Fuck? Gaijin, you just swallowed a whole bag of fucking, like, sour warheads. Yeah, Basically, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah liquid like warhead. warhead. It's not so much sour as it is horribly bitter. It is just oh, yeah. horrendously bitter. And, like, you're, you saved on the con save, but your hair has definitely gained some volume to say oh, the least. Oh, I'm, I'm Miyazaki <laughs> hair shock yeah. real bad. Yeah. It's an awesome Bitrix and Malic Acid combo. Mm-hmm. Oh. Let's pour candle in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Milo's going to be tripping balls for weeks. I'm going to eat. However, her. It'll taste better. Very quickly, uh, the snake is very quickly carved up, um, mm. and there's a lot of meat. And he hands it to you, Milo, and goes, use whatever herbs you want. It stews well. Think of it like a, um, a fish, I think. Uh, a, a fish? Uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give that a shot. <laughs> his, his fucking, his face is puckered in like there's a void. <laughs> My my mouth face is a, becomes insanely small. My my mouth is a singularity. <laughs> yeah, basically. Did your face become a black hole? Oh. It's the fucking scene from South Park with the people who had asses for faces. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> fucking Tito, damn it! You, you may not have realized this, but we also have buttocks where our face should be. Oh, I need a lozenge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, uh, snake bile. Nice. Just like mom used to make. So do you, do you stew this thing, Milo? Absolutely. All right. You managed to make a very, very decent stewed snake. Um, it is very... The texture is interesting. It's very much like a fish stew, mm. but like a little bit more dense. Like the meat is heavier and has a unique 
kind of texture to it. It's a little rubbery um, compared to normal fish. It's not exactly very tender, even as you stew it for a long period of time. There is a little bit of resistance. Mm. It's almost like if squid, fish, and chicken had a weird baby. Uh, oh, but it tastes rubbery. really good. And honestly, after a day of riding, it tastes pretty great. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Strigal will kind of slide over towards Eastcon and offer uh, a, ca a carrots, mushroom, or cheese. Uh, Eastcon's gonna just sort of hold up a hand in thanks, but uh, I've still got rations. He's gonna pull out just like a loaf of dried bread and just try and eat something to calm his stomach. Then Strigal will eat everything provided, including <laughs> what Milo cooked up. <laughs> then you're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Rejarar kind of looks up towards you, Ace Gannon, and goes, have you not killed and eaten something before? Uh, nothing more than fish. Mm. Usually you don't have to do all that. <sighs> I do not believe he has a taste for uh, most meats. That is incredibly concerning. It explains so much. They all seem to have a way of biting back. That is why you must bite faster and harder. I, be... I know a squirrel and a chicken that will not surprise you. What is a squirrel? Oh, I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> Imagine a rat, except it's a lot skinnier and its tail is really poofy. What's a rat? Oh, God. Uh... They, have... they have rabbits here, don't they? So we gotta take this motherfucker to a zoo. We have hares, <laughs> like hares, like the they're like yes, rabbits. They're 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 smaller, rounder hares with a really long tail and are known to be very sturdy and carry all sorts of plagues and pestilences with them. Tend to live Ooh. in trees. He kind of looks behind him in just the barren waste and kind of looks back and goes, <laughs> "Explains why we don't have them then." Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, if you ever find the time, it might be a, a good adventure to travel around, see all different kinds of things, and fight all different kinds of fights. I fight in Dolvaria. That's where I fight. I do not fight in other places. That is warmongering, and most good warriors of Delvaria do not do so. Well, I mean, it, it it's not that you go out looking for a fight. I mean, there's all kinds of places out there that, that we've been to where they're fighting monsters and other kinds of creatures. Uh... You ever heard of the Outsider? Yes, the blind warrior. I've heard of him. We actually uh, went around and, and, and fought a whole bunch of horrible wolves. And it was all for the sake of the people. He kind of looks towards Eustragal and goes, Hearthland's wolves, I imagine. Yeah, there are some, of course. Uh, but there are many more types of wolves and large beasts outside of uh, Dolvaria and Hearthland. Oh, and guys, remember the demons? That was an interesting fight. It was, uh, rather harrowing. Uh, l listen, m my point is, is that I, I know you've got your responsibilities and everything, and I wouldn't say that y you shouldn't be taken to them, but if you ever get the time, uh, there's a lot of people out there that, I know, could use help, and you could see all different kinds of new things. You want me to go on a vacation? I did say that. Hmm. But if it'd be good for you, you, you know, he just kind of mumbles and, and looks around a little bit nervously. Casually starts cooking a yeah. casserole. With yeah. The, <laughs> with You're respect. At... Oh, good. I was, I was just going to say, this guy is like eating, eating into the flank of the steak. You're asking him to do what I did. Unfortunately, as a member of the royal family, I am not privy to such freedoms. You're right. I have responsibilities, but my people also need me. And I must stay here. However, you watch Z actually kind of pours himself a drink and then offers to anybody who wants a drink. Kind of, you know, just a one drink. He's not gonna he's not gonna get you guys drunk. Here um, we go again. Who has <laughs> the drinks yet? Where's yeah. Aya? <laughs> he gives everybody a, a a bit of a drink. He kind of leans oh, back. Yeah. He goes, Perhaps one day I will return to Hearth with Aya. I'm sure she misses her home. I, I'm can speak uh, personally for the royal family it would be most welcome part I don't of care about the royal family 
I care about this Odette woman. She matters to Aya, not the king and queen. Fair enough. Well, I can say at the very least that you would be welcomed in, and uh, the news of her arrival would be celebrated in the streets. I'm sure that would make her very happy, not just Odette, but also Aya. Indeed. The problem is the traveling is difficult. You experience it yourself, it's harsh and brutal. But perhaps in the future. That being said, I am curious about this foe you fight. He has spoke of undeath. Such things are concerning. Necromancy, some practitioners have made their way here in the past. They don't last very long. They're not particularly enjoyed. <laughs> well, I can't blame, uh, I suppose, that uh, reaction to seeing a necromancer of any kind, but it would seem that magic in general is not as uh, welcomed within Dalbaria. We welcome it. We just have an interesting relationship with it. And it's not that we dislike those who practice magic, it is that we are skeptical of them, in the sense that we do not know who thinks for a moment. When you see a man and how he carries himself and the wounds upon his body scarred over, it's like a history, a book that you can read. With sorcerers and wizards and other mages, there is nothing upon them that which you cannot read other than that which they wear, and that tells very little. A well-dressed oh. sorcerer can be just as shit as a terribly dressed one. I beg to differ, actually, your highness. Oh, I'd love you to can... hear it, Catman. <laughs> you can tell a lot about a person's personality by the way they carry themselves, by the way they dress. Their body doesn't need to carry scars in order to tell a story. You just need to look a little bit deeper, a little bit more precisely. As someone who frequented the courts, it's sort of an art form in and of itself being able to tell the intentions and story of person just by looking at the way they are. You frequented the courts. Are you a thief or some sort of law? <laughs> some people would call me thief, but no. Uh, hmm. More on the side of the law. My... Uh, my father was a, uh, well, is a person of import in Monterallo. Mm. I, I tended see. to his affairs a lot before all of <clears throat> this happened. <clears throat> I see. You are right, but we don't have enough time to investigate every single sorcerer that comes in. We're not like Trace Galden to the north. We have no wish to make enemies of sorcerers that which do not wish to make enemies of us. That is simply the relationship and how it has been. But there are old stories, old histories that sit upon our minds, that can paint a picture within our heads. Judgment at face value is useless, and judgment on prejudice is even more so. It is different for us. In that sense. I suppose so. Hmm. Still, word of this ash plague and word of these powerful things that you intend to face. I do not say that they worry me, but they are incredibly foreign to me and thus warrant a bit of... I do not know what the word would be. It is not curiosity and it is not fear, but somewhere in between. Caution? Caution, indeed. If it would comfort you at all, so far everything we've seen tends to be more off to the west. I do not fear it coming here. I just fear it not being understood. There are things in the world that cannot be fought through strength alone. And there are things that cannot be fought by will alone. Well, I mean, that's why you find friends who are different from you. That which I can agree upon. The friend is not the word I use. An executioner is not permitted friends. Allies uh, and battle brothers, yes. But friends... <clears throat> he kind of stops for a moment and kind of <clears throat> taps his glass. When I fought you, I saw that. Your friendship 
He kind of hit, thinks about the word <laughs> ship. Like, it doesn't feel Your right. friend boat. <laughs> Your friend band. <laughs> Thing. <laughs> you pissed me off, but you fought when one of your own was hurt. That is true strength. He looks towards you, Gaius. That is what the truly strong achieve. You must go beyond yourself. He kind of taps his glass and places it down on the ground next to him and kind of tosses another piece of brush onto the fire and just watch it kind of... It's very much like putting paper on a fire, like whoosh, and then it kind of cinders down a little bit like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you well, enjoy being uh, respectfully uh, alone, not having friends? That is a hard question to answer. You know, I respect, I respect my father. My father respects me. Redmond raised me, and I respect him like a father as well. More so in ways, but different. You know, my, uh, excuse, I'm talking. The guy growls at you. Yeah. <laughs> I shrink into my turtle shell. <laughs> Let me finish my thought. I respect my father. My, my father respects me. After my mother died, he became different. Redmond raised me. He trained me to be the executioner. It came with responsibility, but he was also essentially my caretaker. My brother, we've always been at odds, but we've always liked each other. Especially after our mother died, we became closer. I do have friends, but my family is strong, and I care about them deeply. The problem is, as the Grand Executioner of Delvaria, a friend today could be an execution tomorrow. Well, as I was going to say, I mean, we're not going to be here forever, and I know we can't take vacations, but we're all out here together. It's just you and us, and, you know, maybe for just this trip, we could, I don't know, be battle brothers or, or even friends. You watch him kind of think for a second, and you can see, like, the tiny hamster wheel in his brain going. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> the worst person you know just made a very good point. Uh, Aya said that I should spend time with you, and I feel like she's a dangerous woman for suggesting it right now. As he just looks down at you, and I imagine Milo, you're like smiling at him. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> the Milo beam. I'm trying to cal arts him really hard. You're bright beaming him. That's the idea. Get you are not the beam, best bitch. warriors I have met, but you are strong, and more importantly, you are resourceful. But do not become overconfident. It will doom you. Don't I, worry about that. We've had plenty of struggles with confidence. Yes. Well, <laughs> if you are to be ordered to execute any one of us, I doubt. I very much doubt there's anything we could do to stop that, whether we had confidence or not. Well, I can at least speak for myself in saying that even if you do not reciprocate the feelings, I consider you a friend. You see him, his kind of mouth twitches slightly. And you see him kind of turn back, he goes, Aya likes you a lot more than I understand. I don't want to have to kill you. I don't want her to hate me or have a reason to hate me if I can help it. But your company is intriguing, to say the, le the least, with your face buckets and your water creating and your Squirrels that you speak of. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, sorry. I suppose my question is you came here for the treaty. That was something you stated. And you came here for this cure. But what is your ultimate goal? What do you intend to do? On a personal or on a group level? On a group level. That is by which you function at your strongest, and I want to know. What do you intend to do? I mean... I Go ahead. suppose... 
on a sort of grand scale, our goal is to stop the people who caused the Ash Plague. Bring down Blightwing. I and defend people from the things that we've seen. <clears throat> and do you think you can do it? With the boons we've had so far, we can at least become a shelter for those who are running away from it. That was my whole goal for leaving in the first place. And therein lies true strength. He kind of nods a bit at that. Can you all agree upon this? I'll do. Yeah. Mm. Indeed. Um, and truth, I must remove myself slightly from this belief. Well, I certainly fear the Ash Plague and everything that has caused and feel for the people who have been affected by it. I do not have the luxury, nor, I suppose, if I'm being honest, confidence to leave my home quite yet. Similar to you, Rear Girard, I feel honor bound to stay as close to home as possible where I am needed. Hmm. Were it not for were it not for the egg that was needed to be delivered to Aya to celebrate her birthday, as is our custom, I rather doubt I would have been allowed to leave. Perhaps then I should extend the invitation for you to stay. I would be. He's going to kind of eyes wide open. I would be honored to stay. If you see the way that we fight and you return to your halberdiers and your wizards, perhaps then they'll understand. A little bit more. I feel, Rougerard, I understand you more and more as time goes on. You're an executioner. Your duty is that. I am a wizard of war, trained during some of the harsher times of Hurtland history. Without war, I... I struggle to find my purpose in Hurtland. But here in Dalvaria, these skills are not only prized, but they are honed. He kind of pulls out his dagger that he used to gut the snake and kind of looks at it and he goes, a knife can be used to kill a man, but also to provide for a family. That is the way it is here. He kind of resheaths it. That reminds me. He kind of looks towards you, Otho. I have a task for you tonight. Yes. I want you to stab me. Pause. I've, I've been asked to do many strange things during my trip here, <laughs> but I think that might be the strangest. When I'm asleep, I want you to stab me without me noticing. Very well. This guy's fucking crazy. <laughs> it's like this guy is fucking crazy. It's, it's like Vegeta from, from like DBZA. I promise yeah. I will not punch you. <laughs> take me to the, will you take me to the park if I stab you? <laughs> no, yeah, you're going first. to the zoo. <laughs> Dry your tears. We're going to the park. Otho's just lying in a bloody heap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my brain just wandered to the idea of a ranger having the favored terrain of Denny's parking lots. Sorry. <laughs> no! Favorite, ter favorite terrain, the Waffle House. Oh, <laughs> shit. God. The Waffle I mean, House honestly, is where monks are made. Uh, hey, Monty. Yep? Uh, did, did this snake that they prepared have a sort of rattle, you said? No, it, it didn't have a rattle on its tail. Ah, oh, okay. All right, never it's mind. It's just every snake, well, I, I could be paraphrasing it, but, like, most snakes, usually when they're, like, in a defensive position, their tail just naturally just twitches back and forth just as a I response. See. All right. Yeah. I'm no plotting. Rattle, unfortunately. <laughs> um, he turns towards the rest of me and goes, do not help him in any way. Milo well, gives a very shaky thumbs up. Iskan sort of glances one eye towards Kai. If you do it, you are going to get him killed, and not from me. He needs to know how to do this by himself. Do you understand why? He looks towards you, Otho. Of course. And he just sort of, like, 
puts a rests a hand on his chin and he strokes his beard, thinking. Use what you have on you. Don't overthink it. Always have a way out. Always. He stands up to his full height and kind of stretches. I'm going to bed. He turns around and walks over to his bedroll. Good dreams to you, Ryoshiro. What? Uh, good night. <laughs> what a dream! What a dream! <laughs> what a dream. <laughs> we only have blackness out here in Telvaria. <laughs> there is just there is just awake and sleep. What there, there, is, there is dream. There is, there is awake and then alone with your thoughts for several hours. <laughs> dream? You mean the sleep paralysis demon that I have to fight every day? <laughs> it's just hear, darkness and it's morning. Spell. You hear a meaty thud, like you know, putting a like a butcher putting a, just a giant cow on a block, and he just is in his bedroll, arms kind of tucked behind his head, and just looking up at the sky. Hmm. Well, if you guys don't need anything, I want to do something before I go to bed. Uh, do you need any help, or...? Uh, no, I can handle it. Oh, there you are. And Iskan will excuse himself from the circle of friendship uh, before friendly fire begins. And uh, hey! <laughs> he's going to pull out uh, both his star map and his regular map for this area of Delvaria, because I imagine at this point it spanned several pages. Oh, yeah. Um, and he's going to find a, a comfortable position, perhaps maybe tucked up against uh, Lord Fauntleroy, the boar. <laughs> uh, God. And he's going to kind of uh, look for Ilene's spoon to the north mm. and kind of update his maps, uh, both the star map and the, the land map, with the new areas that we've traveled today. You got it. Very cool. Uh, Otho, what kind of... Or Otho. Uh, yeah. Whoa! Well, I'm Otho now! Hello! Hello. What? Struggle Take over! Now. Assume direct control! Struggle will move over towards Otho. <laughs> Do you feel... Uh, what are you feeling about this uh, task you've been given? Mm, I'm wondering how I can pull it off. Hmm. Could tie a string to a crossbow and fire it, and when he's distracted by the bolt, I'll sneak up behind him, or perhaps I could mist something under... Hmm. Can I... I need some... Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Uh, somewhat of unrelated. Of course. I have met many um, people who are quick with their fingers and wit. They tend to find... Uh, a confidence that is very boisterous and eccentric. They tend to be far more willing to blur the lines as to what is right and what is wrong, at least when it comes to terms of the law. But you are the first I have met who can easily pick lock or find their ways into the shadows that does not have that same uh, creative view of the law. I suppose my question is... Why? Why do I obey the law? Uh, no, I suppose. Why do you have such uh, remarkable skills at uh, thief trade, but uh, seem to not want to be a thief? Well, I guess you could say I learned it from the best. I don't know if I've actually told you this, but I was actually under the... I was a prisoner of some bandits for about six months. In that time, I had to essentially learn how to stay alive in a den of wolves. Six months? Your father did not send a rescue party for you? He sort of uh, removes his glasses and begins to polish the lenses and look down with a bit of a somber look in his face. No, no, he did not. I am... my, my brother was ultimately the one that freed me, and 
I didn't know if he was coming either, so in the interim I had to learn with the tools around me. I had to watch these criminals and how they did things, and I adapted their skill set into my own. And My original plan was to, one night while nobody was looking, attempt to steal some keys or pick the lock myself and make a break for it. It was a foolish, flimsy plan, but I was desperate. After six months in captivity, I'm certain I would try to be uh, just as reckless to escape as you. Did, did they say why they captured you? <laughs> yeah. The reasoning criminals do what they do is usually fairly obvious. I assume they were trying to get some money from my father. If that was the case, then your father would know you were missing. Either that or their ogre wife was just attempting to satisfy her hunger. Oh no, she almost succeeded. And he sort of reaches up to his arm and he grabs around his upper bicep. I see. I was curious about that, but did not want to ask. Your brother, though, Kai, he was able to find you? He, he smiles and, and looks over at Kai. And he must have tracked me down all by himself and found out where I was. And, and how, Kai, may I ask, did you find him? <clears throat> uh, Kai will close two different books. It looks like he was writing one, like transferring from one to the other. Um, but he will put down his quill and fold them up. I, I, I don't know. I just went back to where he was taken and followed tracks, asked around, t t disguised myself, talked to any thug that I could find to get information and then eventually found out where the den was. I see. Pardon the curiosities, I am just trying to understand why an ocean lord, you, you are the eldest, uh, you are his firstborn, right, Master Uther? Yes, I am the older of us two. Why would he so willingly sacrifice his own son? Because Brutus is a piece of shit! Sorry. I don't know. I don't know why he would. I don't know if he did. Kai, Not... you were clearly there. Did he say anything, receive any ransom note? Not only did he know, he forbade anyone from finding Otho. Anyone. Under the threat of death. So guess what happens the next time we see him? I don't think it's that simple. This is tremendously out of character for him. My father is a hard man. Emotionally, he's a wall, but he was, he would never do something like this, not willingly. That's why I need to find out what happened. I need to see for myself. But I appreciate you sharing this with me, and I certainly understand you a bit more as to why you do not want to be compared to the common criminals that took you for six months. <laughs> Well, I would never give in to my baser instincts and let greed overtake me like those basic criminals. They're practically animals. And crimes of passion are different than crimes of need, at least in my experience, but... Still giving in to an urge, and it's still a sign of weakness. I'm not going to fight you on that. Still, I... Do wish you the best of luck in your journey, I suppose, with your father, but also with your task that you have ahead of you tonight. <sighs> Both of those are pretty daunting, but I'll see them done. And thank you, Mr. Roth. Uh, what for? 
I guess for asking, for caring. Of course. I, I, if you ever need a confidant, you know where to find me. <laughs> Suppose I do. It'll give uh, you a warm uh, hand on your shoulder before giving a nod to Kai and kind of going over to his own part of the camp and resting, digesting on everything he learned. Yes, you guys head for the bed for the night. Mm-hmm. Milo, you know what's crazy about the food? You, you made a lot of food, by the way. Like, yeah, you made, yeah. Like, a cauldron of food. No leftovers whatsoever. Oh. And that was like a, that was a huge snake. And you're yeah, just yeah. like, where did it go? <laughs> it's like a 15 foot long cow just gone. Yeah. Rajar ate most of it, I'm sure. Yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he ate like half of it, if not more. Um, all right. Otho, as everyone heads to sleep and the night continues, how do you want to approach the task that has been given to you? How will you mm. kill this man? <laughs> hey, hey, he Monty, didn't say if kill okay, him. He just said Kai, stab him. Can Kai stay awake to watch this? Yeah, sure. If you want to watch. Okay. Yep. Hmm. What does my surrounding terrain look like? My immediate surrounding Open, <laughs> open flat land. Gotcha. There is, okay. like, no coverage here. Open flat land. No big rocks or anything like that? Nope. No the boars. Shrubberies. There are the boars, but they're off eating, like... They they send they don't really stay around camp. They're just like free feeding around. Hmm. Yeah, is, you just need to stab him. Is Rare Gerard like Is is he like sleeping on like a mat or a bedroll or something? He is sleeping on what seems to be a bedroll. No blanket. He is just on his back. He's like also like arms pressed to his side. Like he is like <laughs> Yeah. Been sleeping standing. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Like a board. Uh okay. What is this bedroll made out of? Uh, his bedroll seems to be made out of animal hide and uh, kind of fur, but not like, you know, fur for comfort, not really for heat. Okay. Uh, I've got some rope. So, what I'm going to do is a little elaborate, so stay with me here. Okay. Again, going you to... just need to stab him without noticing. That's all you need to do. Yeah, I'm going to... bury one of my knives in the sand. Okay, roll a stealth check as you begin to dig a hole. Diggy hole, digging a hole. Okay. Also, this is assumed to be well, where everyone else is asleep except for Kai. <laughs> yep. That is a... <laughs> the number! <Yeah. laughs> 21. <Excellent>. Let's <laughs> go! Dream. <laughs> Fuck this guy, you got him. You very carefully... It takes you a while because you're trying to be quiet without using tools, so it takes you all to dig a hole. Hmm. Okay, and then, so... <laughs> without just trying to disturb him, I am going to... I am going to try and see if I can loop uh, or attach some rope to Rare Gerard's bedroll. That is a huge stealth check. Okay. 
Could I give myself advantage? With no, money? absolutely <laughs> not. Ah, oh, frick. You were walking right. up next to his bedroll and tying rope on it. Absolutely not. <laughs> Master of tactics. All right, Otho, you got this. No, yeah, all right. Exactly. Here I go. I believe in you. I believe in a thing, Carlo. No. no. Wait, oh, not bad. 18? Not bad. As you reach down to his bedroll and begin to tie the rope, you immediately feel a, a hand around your neck as <laughs> you are grabbed by Rajar as his eyes shoot open. Uh. And, like, he holds you in place and then slowly rises without moving you. And then lets go of your neck. <clears throat> what? I didn't even have a knife in my hand. What? And yet I caught you. What are you doing? Caught me doing what exactly? And I'm gonna try and try and uh, make the make it so he can't see the rope. <laughs> it's very obvious. <laughs> I hate to say it to you, buddy, because he he looks down and he sees it. I was uh, undoing the binding on my bedroll and putting on a mind. Apparently, I am not like you. I fight differently, but let me give you a piece of advice. Mm -hmm. You are like thunder. Loud? No, you are like thunder. <laughs> you make a show of things, which is not a bad trait to have. But he kind of looks at the rope and like, <laughs> he like looks at the tiny hole that you dug like, what? <laughs> you are like thunder. You are trying to expand that which you do, become bigger than that which you are. You must be like lightning and strike your foe without even giving them a chance to know what fear is. Do not hesitate. Do not make it difficult for yourself and easier for your enemy that which you want to kill. Be like lightning. Don't give them a chance to feel fear. Do you understand? Well, the idea was to not give you a chance to feel anything other than getting stabbed, but... And yet I felt you tying a rope around my bedroll. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of laughs, actually. He kind of rubs his temples like... Fuck can, sake, I, man. can I can I use that distraction while he's laughing to try and sleight of hand one of my daggers? You uh, want to stab him right now? Let's go! <laughs> yeah! This go, man dude, if this fucking <laughs> works. Go for it. Go this for it. Lightning said, quick, am I right? This man said strike fast and god damn it, he's going for it. Oh, though, you beautiful shining star. <laughs> oh. That's another time. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> do it, Hansel. As, as he's, like, laughing and rubbing his head, you just stab him. Where do you stab him? Oh, uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 assume, I, assume he, I assume he, like, tilts his head back when he laughs. Yeah. Uh, I I immediately, like, flick, my, flick uh, order into my hand, and I stab him in the thigh. Okay, you stab him in the thigh, and the, he, he, like, stops what he's doing and looks down at it. And then just kind of looks at you and goes, Motherfucker, I told you to stab me while I'm asleep! What are you doing? <laughs> and at this point, all of you hear this and wake up as you hear yelling. Yes! Like, uh, <laughs> For fuck's sake. <sighs> Go to bed! He kind of tosses the knife back at you, annoyed, and rolls Do over. I win? Hey! Hey! Do I win? <laughs> <laughs> oh. As the rest of you like cheated. As you wake up bleary eyed and then roll back to sleep, Otho, unfortunately. <laughs> good try, but he heard you. No, <laughs> yeah, but he didn't see him coming. Alright, Connor, so next plan. Sneak the knife into his hand while he's sleeping and itch his nose. So he's <laughs> yes. oh, no. No. When he him with a feather. <laughs> And as you all get a night's rest, slightly disturbed without, you know, incurring exhaustion, 
that is where we're gonna take our break. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll be I'll be right back. Before so I, I before I run I just, off to the restroom real quick, I just want to say, lightning does actually give people a moment's notice before it strikes. You can feel your does. hair standing up on end, and it's a metaphor. See no, 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 right, right, from right. The ground leading up to the Mark, leading get the fuck out of here. Sky. However, I'm gonna go pee I, now. Bye. Connor, I, if you would have actually succeeded in stabbing him, I was absolutely gonna cast shatter and be like, "What? You can't have lightning without the thunder." Connor, I love you because you stabbed him, but you did not do it within the parameters you said. <laughs> no, that I respect was for it. fuck. That was way better. Are you kidding me? <laughs> could I? Could I tell you my plan? I actually want to hear. My it. I'm so sorry, but I am curious. Yeah. Okay. So what I was going to do. What I was going to do is I was going to try and, like, wrap my rope around his sleeping bag in a way that was that was subtle enough. Um, I was going to bury the rope in the sand just a little bit. Um, I was going to bury one of my knives in that hole I dug. And then I was going to either wait for Rare Gerard to, like, get up and pee or something or, like force him to get up and like distract him or something and then i was going to drag his bedroll over the hole oh my so god when he, so when he laid down again he would stab himself that would be amazing <laughs> that's so fucking intricate and unnecessary and i fucking love it just put put one of his hands in a cup of water oh my god <laughs> also welcome into the halftime show folks this is um, I didn't amazing. stab you, but I forced you to pee yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the idea of you overcomplicating that for no reason other than just That's a 10 step problem for a two step plan? Yeah. Look what happened last time I tried to stab him in the face. <laughs> to be fair, you could try stabbing him in the side instead. I mean, you have a decent track record now. You just stabbed him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Also, Zan, good scene. Yeah, good scene, both of you. I didn't want to interrupt everything, but yeah, good stuff. You and Connor, that was uh, nice. Monty, Monty agrees. Dying. Yeah. She's sick to her stomach over it. I return. Welcome back. You're going to hear crunching. I'm sorry, but we are on break. I mean, that's fine. I didn't it's crunch it. time. You can crunch all you want. Hell yeah, Tostitos crunch. Tostitos pizza rolls. Oh, wait. Don't say it out loud. You're gonna wake my dad. Oh, oh no. Oh, wait. Tostitos pizza rolls! <laughs> oh, man. Hello, Pat. How are you? Uh, they're doing good. I'm gonna call out some bits and subs real quick. Let's see what we... Let's see here. What do we got? 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 Scrolling. Uh, Dice Ruler, thank you for the bits. Otho, don't worry, it's a prank. Uh, <laughs> Small Niata, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Otho employed the roguish way of the Looney Tunes. I mean, if that would have worked, he would have. Beach Cowboy, thank you for the hundred bits. Nah, what you gotta do is make an overly complicated Rube Goldberg machine in order to make this work. I mean, fair. Uh, Cosmosis, one hundred bits. Yo, Bosco, you're gonna be in Chicago this weekend for that con. I will not. Uh, but I am coming home for the holidays at some point. Ah, food. Luckily, Farrah, thank you for the 420 bits. Never say good night in Tricadia. I mean, that's true. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 100 bits. Favorite terrain, the Denny's parking lot at 11 p.m. on a Friday night. Favorite enemies. Yes. <laughs> All who enter your lair. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. After just shy of two years, I have completed my first campaign. We won Hooray. by the skin of our teeth. My character paid a heavy price, though, and is going to be living up to his stage name, <laughs> White, for eternity. I'm assuming hey, you get... At least you he got... still exists. Congrats. Yeah, still... You always remember your first. It's true. I can remember a fair few campaigns that ended with my character being wiped from existence, but you wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Zan? It better be worth it. It better... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking damn it. Twice! Twice in Ravenloft! Twice! What the fuck? Dude! Dude! <laughs> Every time somebody says that at the fucking table, anytime I'm there, I'm just like, no. Oh, yeah, no. I know. No, no, no. <sighs> That's right up there with, um, <laughs> want to see something funny? <laughs> want to <Yeah. laughs> 
to see something cool. <laughs> uh, was it worth it? Spoiler, no. No, it was not. Nah. It was never Look. worth it. it was Look what I can do. It was to worth it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I think those are the like most identifiable last words at any of my tables was just Mark going, it better be worth it, and then instantly and immediately dies. Immediately yeah, being like, for game. Well, here goes nothing and dies. <laughs> Volk, thank you for the 100 bits. Otho, follow the kiss principle. Keep it simple, stupid. No, man, I like the intricacies. No, I like it too. It's a learning it's like, opportunity. Un unfortunately, the more steps you add to a process, the more checks you have to make. Like, that's the sad exactly. part. Exactly. Well, but to be fair, I believe. <laughs> this is the I next see. night. I also <laughs> love that he was just like, fuck it, stabs him. Yeah. yeah. The next night, well, Rojar's gonna go to bed. Otho, why are you putting a bunch of dominoes down? <laughs> <laughs> like, there's like one big see? one over his bedroll, and they just get progressively smaller. Can we get Can we get someone to Photoshop that one bit where Venom walks up to Spider Man and sticks a knife in his left ass cheek, and he just hits the floor, and it cuts that. Ah! <laughs> just gonna need a bit of food, and then I should be good to go. Uh, unacceptable. Hello, dear. Meek the Bassett, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Last session was so funny, it kind of makes me want an oops, all drunken fist monks one shot. Uh, Zen, thank you for the 100 bits. Keep it stabby, stupid. Uh, Venon Norvius, thank you for the 100 bits. Otho should ask a certain red gnome about stabbing people in their sleep. And Bubba Bob with another 100 bits, totally worth it. <laughs> Keep it stabby, shifter. A red gnome. Damn. Yeah. I'm just, a, I'm just imagining a Otho's fur pattern, but instead of it currently, it's like a kiss makeup. <laughs> so still would, black and white, there's so just a tongue. You. It would be pretty cool. Yeah. Word. Word to your mother. Hmm. Shout out to your mom. <laughs> yes. Say hello to your mother for me. Is that fucking scene from UHF? Like, hey, Chuckles, how you doing? Open up! Now say hi to Mr. Frying Pan! <laughs> <laughs> the a simplest trick wiener in the wiener sandwich. Both of the shitter row strikes again. <laughs> That's what you should have done. You should have got him when he was in the bathroom. I'm sorry, I'm sorry okay. for coughing, by the way. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> stab him! He'll never I'm hear you coming over the sound of his own piss. Oh. <laughs> it's like flying hey man, I was just taking a there. Look. Oh, sorry, I can't say that word. It'll cue Monty's sleep cycle. Sorry, Monty. Uh, what? That, no, that's not good. Piss, apparently. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't have the trending page on Twitter anymore, but every time I would go to bed, it usually was when piss would be trending in Canada for some reason. So, like, the moment I saw that piss was trending in Canada, I'd be like, yep, oh, time to go to bed. <laughs> ah, it's piss o'clock. Good night. <laughs> Literally. Oh, is that the time already? Gee, Willikers. Also, are we all back? I think uh -huh. so. I'm uh, I'm uh, back and front actually. <laughs> Good. Yeah, Connor's here. I'm here. Guys, here. Mark's one, here. One more grab of Toastitos, please. Get it in there. Oh, Get it in the pizza roll. Pizza roll. How did you know? Dunkachino. No. It's Dunkaroos. Shit. Do we have Dunkaroos then? Here? The commercial is so uh, stupid. Dunkaroos are great. I now, now you're making. Mm. Oh, hang on. No. Hang on. I got. I got. I got. No. <laughs> Go Zito. You just hear. I just checked I'm to back. make sure the stream was we don't have good, any. and I just saw someone just go Monty with like four question marks, and I don't know what they're talking about. Probably the piss. Piss. Probably. Oh yeah, that's don't. Why are you question marking me? That's not me. That's just the way it all was. All of Canada. <laughs> Apparently, it's all out. Oh, now all yeah, of Canada sure, that's knows you. That's not even the strangest piss. thing that Monty has said. I mean, let's go back to the dandelions. For oh example. yeah, no, the dandelions thing. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Dude, Shay, Shay had my back when you guys were like visiting no, me here. Well, Shay kind of had. Shay was like, well, in her defense. But Shay she also really burned a hurdy gurdy. I don't want to hear any defense line starting with <laughs> Shay had my yeah, back. Just oh, Shay was there... like, oh, I've heard of it. Hold on, there was there was a hurdy gurdy development actually. Oh, we're waiting. Came back. To get back. I was gonna say, <laughs> did it just <laughs> show up <laughs> again? You, you <laughs> joke, but Shay got a new one actually, like the exact same one, but not broken so she can rebuild it she has the oh, technology nice. good yeah. that's the the circle is complete that makes me happy to hear now i want to see pictures of the finished hurdy gurdy though so i, I want to hear her out there i want to hear the hurdy gurdy make the terminator <laughs> 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 
it, it's, so it's good, really though. more musical than that, but sure. Is, is Zito back? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, yep. All right. Are we Did all you good have Dunkaroos? Yeah. No, I had, I had a granola bar instead. Oh. Boys night! Boys night! Boys night! Boys night! Don't cry loud! Boys night goes pretty good. Uh, you Let's actually wake go. into the sound of, like, squabbling birds, and as you all kind of, like, blink and wake up... I'm so sorry. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. I, I'm very sorry. You're okay. As you guys wake up and kind of bleary-eyed kind of blink, you notice that there's currently two, like, probably like three or four vultures currently squabbling over the, the little bits of, of snake that were left behind. Uh, like the, the organs that weren't eaten. And are currently Along kind with of... guy is fighting them back. <laughs> no, it's fine. Drone! <laughs> uh, the boars themselves all seem to be kind of attentive. Notably, there is no watch at night. Huh. As the boars were watching. No, because we have a level 20 barbarian with danger Yeah, sense. exactly. Yeah, he probably Who's has going to sneak up on and... Rare Gerard? Yeah, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> another level 20 barbarian oh damn as you all wake up and begin to kind of clean up camp and, and load up the boars <clears throat> uh i would say probably milo you would notice that rich is currently like fumbling with something where he is he's kind of at a distance and is like currently messing with something and just like, like shit and he's like dropping things on the ground i will go to investigate you see him currently fumbling with what looks like um, bandages, and you recognize the make. It is definitely ones that Aya has made. Oh, do you need any help in there, Reshnar? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with us getting some help. I'll, I will assist in uh, carrying these bandages. Right. No, these go these ahead. are... F I was just going to say, these are fascinating. Aya taught me how to make them, and she's... Th th I've, I've just never seen anything like it. Hmm. It's interesting that such weak cloth that can just come apart with a single pull is able to heal people. Well, uh, you know, it, it's... Lots of things that appear weak can and have great healing effects. I, I know mean, like that this... very well, yes. Ah, uh, so he, he got the uh, symbolism I was throwing out there. I well... well... Where do you need these? Fi, your friend stabbed me last night. He failed, but he stabbed me anyway, which... I'm not going to lie, I kind of respect that. <laughs> well, don't worry, yeah. I, don't worry, I won't let, I won't let him know that. Mm. I'll, I'll just start Stay wrapping five him. feet away from him. <laughs> I'll, I'll start wrapping him up. Yeah, it's, it's a deep wound, but it's an easy one to mend. No medicine check required. Mm. It only has you, a little bit of sand in it. Do you want any scar and leaf in, or is this kind of too much of a backbiting stab? No. Aya is insistent. All right, all right. Well, I'll just tuck that in right there. It'll close properly. Mm. Thank you. Get that right? out. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll just ask it if you're doing all right. I'm... I'm all right. I think the stab something was not that deep. Is there something else bothering you? He kind of thinks for a moment. He's like, I have Got this stabbed. faint memory of something, but I don't recall it that clearly. I might have been drunk. I don't know. I don't know. He kind of stands up to his full height and begins to roll up his bedroll. Well, no worries if, you know, if it ever need anyone to talk to or bandage you up again, you know where I'm at. I just... I don't know. I just feel... Too many expectations, he says just suddenly. <laughs> can, very can... defiantly. I know it's a meme, but may I incite him? Because there's a lot of emotions that's going through there's his head. There's a lot, yeah. That's fair. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. We. Oh, God damn. Chain on either side. <laughs> God, that was, that was a three. Internally oh. in the Milo brain, the Tylee Milos go, there's too much information. <laughs> we can't handle all these well, signals. How, 
How do we help him? There's too much information, man. I don't care. Get a read on him. Sir, there's the too much information. Take much more of this, <laughs> Captain. We're Milo careful. number 27 can't stop singing that jingle he heard that one time. We can't focus. Oh, I Daddy love bread and boy. I love rules. <laughs> Y'all went in very different directions. <laughs> <laughs> but you both committed, so I appreciate it. The camera right. zooms back into reality. Milo's eyes are slightly separated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. well, I guess we'll make our way. Oh, you're done talking? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know! <laughs> he's just like, he's... he's... Listen, he's, listen. He's ruminating. He's he's kind of ruminating on it, and he kind of looks down to you. He goes, "You are a very cheerful creature." Oi. Why? <laughs> oh my God, Rarejoy, you can't just ask people why they're <laughs> cheerful. Oh my God. Because because Rarejoy, there is so much sadness and hurt and pain in this world. I don't have the time to explain it, and I don't know if you care to hear it. But something really bad happened that had a lot to do with who I'm associated with and what I am. And there was a lot of death and bad things. And even, even right now, it's hard to explain. I'll get to the point. There's just too much of that. And for me to be able to go out and, and try to make people's lives a little bit better, either by my cooking or my healing or, or my ability to protect people, that's, that's all I care about. And that extends to everyone, you included, as I poke his knee. Don't his touch him. He swats your hand away a little bit. <laughs> Stop it. Mm. Poke him in the stab. Oh. Listen, that, it, it's it, just it's it's just you and us guys out here. You don't have to hide anything from us. Roll a persuasion check. Let's go! Let's, come oh, on. Please! Oh, bro, bro, bro 19! Let's go! Nice. Bro down. Bro nice. down. Let's go. Nice. Ugh, I just... I worry about Aya, but at the same time I want her to be happy and it's very conflicting. There's many expectations on her that she has very little control over and it's a, it's a little overwhelming, to say the least. I mean, given the circumstance, yeah, I can understand that. I... I go on. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm letting you vent. <laughs> vent. He kind of like ruminates on the word, like he's never heard it before. Huh? It's it's I where will... it's where you tell your friends the things that are bothering you. And you're not friends. Can I still do this? Absolutely. Uh, not a word of this to anybody. I cross my tiny heart and hope to die by your hand. <laughs> I would like to make a perception. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he looks down at you. He goes, "It would take very little effort. It'd be so easy." Milo just shrugs and smiles. Wow, fuck you! <laughs> buddy. Just tell him, fuck's sake. <laughs> Milo's fine with this. I just. <sighs> I lose. Aya has grown up with expectations. And now she's married to me, and I feel like I'm a warden more than a husband. And you being here has been very positive for her. You mentioned wanting to spread joy. And though your intentions here were not so much to do that, you did achieve it. And I just feel... I wish I would be able to do the same, I suppose. But that is not the way things are. No, but maybe in small ways here and there, that's how they could be. Mm. I know you've got your duty and she's got hers and there's not much you can do about that. He just starts kicking his feet like back and forth, kind of childlike. But you know, there's something that you could do maybe just once a day, a small gesture here and there. Don't have to be big, don't have to be grandiose. Uh, you don't have to impress anyone. It's just love's interesting in that it doesn't require a lot of complexity. Kindness mm. doesn't require a lot of complexity. You are very wise. Well, I just learned a lot from other people. 
Mm. I've I learned a lot from a lot. you. I'm learning a lot from you as well. Like that your friend will stab now without any recourse. Which is good. Makes him dangerous. Thank you, Milo. I appreciate your words. I will think on them while we travel. Ah, no problem. And uh, uh, let me know if you need patched up again. I am fine, but thank you. He nods. Yay! <laughs> Oh my He's God, happy. Milo finally Good did it. It only took the whole Can you feel your arc. social links growing? <laughs> my little bravey, my little bravey. As you all, I'm assuming everybody begins to mount up. Yes. Yeah. Do the mm -hmm. boars gather on their own, or do we need to kind of call them together? Oh, Rareshar just whistles and they immediately line up like in a row. Okay. They're so well trained. It's insane. The the <laughs> the Chad Warbors versus the Virgin Humphrey. Oh. No, don't do my boy Humphrey like okay. that. Okay. The Chad the Chad Warbors versus the slightly less but still Chad Humphrey. Thank you. Does, does there the we go. That his, fr his friendship. Does that mean one of us gets to like date him at the end of the game? Yeah, me. Nice. Do it. <laughs> Stragall is going to uh, get atop of his A10 Thunderbolt, also known as a Warhog. <laughs> I appreciate the... Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, as you guys mount up, the weather today is actually opposite to yesterday. It's actually quite windy today. There is no, like, real, like, large sand, like, you know, dust storm or anything you can see visually. But, like, you cannot see, like, the... Their distance to see is shortened, but not by enough that... Sorry, not by enough that it would hinder you in, like, any, you know, particular way. It just... It's just a natural, kicked-up kind of dust bowl effect, naturally. Hmm. Are there However, any clouds? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, no clouds, unfortunately. However, as you begin to travel in the early morning, immediately the boars take off and rush forward. As you travel and get to about, you know, late morning, uh, E-Scan, your passive perception is... Okay. As you're kind of running, you notice something like a, like a sort of, like, something in the air a very long distance off. Slightly obscured by the dust, but it is very dark and very visible. Rare drawer! What? There's something up ahead of us. It seems to be like up ahead and slightly to like the left of where your current position is. Just there off to the left. Something he dark. Of, he kind of slows his boar down to a full stop. The rest of you guys stop your boars, I'm assuming. Oh yeah. 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 He kind of brings up his hand over his forehead to kind of narrows his eyes and looks and he goes, Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're gonna go slightly off course for a bit. Why? What is it? It's a mind taker. Do you remember that thing we had mounted above our stronghold before we replaced it with your kill? Oh. Oh. Okay. Great. Yeah, that's fucking great. So, what do we do? We steer clear of it. Right. He kind of turns and nods to everybody just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No argument from us. <laughs> All right. As you kind of you nod, you begin to take way. off. And for a while, Iskan, you kind of watch this figure, and it stays about the same size, but as you kind of veer off slightly, you begin to see it fade into the dust. Didn't seem that it noticed you. Hmm. Okay. Iskin will still kind of keep an eye out behind them until it's definitely no longer a shape in the sand, and then continue looking forward. Perhaps your... Mm, sorry, go ahead. Uh, Master Otho, my favorite part about not knowing what that was is still not knowing what that was. Hmm. We do not know what they are. Perhaps your magics could answer our questions, Rojar says. Would that be a creature that would any of us would have any familiarity with? You've never seen something like that before, no. Right, okay. 
Uh, Rajor, kind of as you are all running, and eventually, like, you kind of go back to your regular pace and back on course, assumedly. Mm. Rajor kind of turns, and you guys kind of keep a pace, and he kind of turns to you and goes, Ancient storytellers speak as if these things were sent as a punishment from jealous gods envious of Delvaria's power. Some other explorers say that it came from a square egg in the earth that cracked open one day when the wind finally had its way with it. We don't know what they are. They don't hunt to kill. And sometimes those at which they take don't come back the way they were. They come back at all? Sometimes magic can, but it is rare. And sometimes they just simply die outright. No visible wounds on the body. They're just gone. Like a fire snuffed out. I'm glad we avoided it. Mm. Let's keep moving. Travel continues. And soon, morning breaks into midday. And after a few more hours of traveling, maybe about three in the afternoon, you begin to see a formation beginning to crawl above the horizon. A cluster of green and sparse yellows wide that swallow up the desolate land ahead. As you Are see these before like... you... Oh, sorry, go ahead. As you see before you, an oasis. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Insert a joke here, singing a song by the band Oasis. Are there any visible creatures around it? Roll perception check. I will also do that. You're good at that. Well, I won't be now. Uh, 15? No, you're, you're gonna do great. See? Uh, 12. Okay. As you look, you see a lot of birds. Um, you also... Uh... One second. For a brief moment, you swear you see something, like, in the foliage, like, sink back into it. Ooh. Hmm. Do I know exactly where it came from? It seemed to be at, like, the forefront, closest to where you were, and it was just, like, a form, and you just saw it sink back into the foliage. I, I, I think I saw something over there going back in the foliage. I'm not sure if it might be a, a knoll or some kind of beast. He stops his boar and dismounts and slides off. Leave the boar here. Uh, I will do so. Dismount. The thing about the oases, he says, he like unlashes his axe from his, his saddle and puts it on his back. The lens and Delvari are dangerous, but oases is where they're most concentrated. I suppose that would make sense, considering it's very few sources of immediate water. Indeed. And that which claims it is either otherworldly or very strong. I thought I heard in one of the towns that the green thorns tend to formulate around these oases. Any they do. chance that's what we saw? Potentially. While they are amicable, they're not known for being friendly. I think we've gotten used to that by now. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it means the people of Delvaria are not necessarily amicable at nature, or at least at first, but you are have you to Are you saying I that. am not amicable? Have I not been giving you training and invited you into my home? Uh, what I am saying is there is a common theme with these lands that one must earn the trust for social situations rather than it just be given. Hmm. Suppose you are right in that regard. Well, you've proven it to me so far. If it is a null or something else, perhaps your wits will say about you. You see that Rajar is actually a little bit uneasy. Mm. Now, I found myself behind a rare dry in his natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump out of the bush and 
grab him behind. God damn it, Connor's. Connor's <laughs> didgeridoo gets me every time. <laughs> Alright, what is your marching order? I will take dead middle. Okay. If uh, I can volunteer to be on, in the front, but on the side of Rejar, so we have my eyes and his uh, meat shield. Oh, Rejar is in the back. <clears throat> Fuck. What? Well, no, no, no. Put, his, put his ass first. Everybody run behind the meat shield. No, because if we get flanked, <laughs> if we get jumped, it's good to have him in the back. So I guess Eastgen will be in the front very tentatively approaching if we get jumped from the back but i'm pretty sure we will always be attacked from the front do we uh uh i suppose Strigal or do do we all see that uh Rishirar is nervous or a little uneased he seems very more attentive than usual and it seems to have an air of nervousness about it yeah okay if that's the case then uh Strigal will kind of take middle and also, or we will also go in the middle and will cast mage armor on himself. Everyone will be in the middle. Gaius, where are you going? I was going to be in the front, but. You can you go with be Eastcan next in to the Eastcan? Front. Yeah, sure. All right, Gaius with Eastcan. I am I am designated party tank. Let's do it. Otho Kai, where are you guys going? Uh, um, Kai's going wherever Otho goes. Otho will probably be near the back. There you go. I'll put Kai next to you. All right. As you enter into this, it goes from being just open space of this sort of reddish sand to now just dense, lush foliage. Giant curling, like, ferns longer than a man is tall. Vines that drape around large palm-like trees bearing massive, juicy-looking fruits. You see as well just overturned logs now reclaimed by life. And the moment you enter, the first thing that hits you is just the sudden temperature drop. It goes from being, you know, pretty hot to like comfortably cool. And the sun just disappears underneath the canopy. Hmm. Gaius. Yes. You have like a, not a, I say weird in like a very generic sense. But you have a weird feeling. This oasis feels a little bit like home in a weird way. Oh shit, do I detect fey nonsense? Not really fey nonsense, it just feels very untouched. Hmm, okay. And very dense. Is there any flora or fauna that I recognize? Roll a nature check. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a three. The trees all seem naturally forming. Fey nonsense is usually hard to spot because it's usually well hidden, at least yeah. in the material plane. But something about this place as you enter it just feels trying to find the right word for it and again it's very generic but like warded in like a generic sense is there a rock nearby that i could pick up and toss in our general direction in front of us <clears throat> yeah easily enough yep i i pick up a rock and like you know how like when you throw a rock uh to the side to let it skip over across water mm -hmm. so it like it gets like a little bit of like not float but like it glides a little bit i toss it in front of us that way all right. It scatters across the ground in front of you and then disappears underneath some vines. Nothing mm -hmm. reacts to me doing that? Nope. What was that about? Odd as it sounds. I get a sense of home from the foliage here. Something's just out of place. I can't put my finger on it. Should we be concerned? More concerned than we already are. Fair. Well, the, the weirdness I feel is more of a sense that something is trying to keep itself hidden. 
but everything seems just out in the open. Guys, you don't have any man-eating plants where you come from, do you? Remembers his sister. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> when he said eater. something seemed hidden, uh, Iskan's gonna really look closely at the path in front of him. Okay. See if he can find anything that seems out of place. Perception check. But really hard. Uh, 16. As you look around, your eyes kind of trail against, like, it's it's so hard to decipher all the greenery. However, your eyes trail up, and you're just, you suddenly are taken aback as you look up in one of the trees, and you just see a baboon looking down at you. <laughs> oh. Have I ever monkey. seen a baboon before? Yes, they actually, okay. there are, there are monkeys in, um, where you're from, but the baboons, it's like a horrible looking monkey. Well... We do at least have eyes. And he'll kind of point up to the monkey. Whatever that's oh, worth. He's... Oh my god, he's cheeked! <laughs> Get your weapons out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. The baboon I'll of disarming. Uh, Here okay. Uh, I want to check the other trees to see if there's other baboons watching us right now. Okay. I assume you guys are like still moving through. Or are you just standing still right now? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. not walking directly underneath this thing so it can jump at me. <laughs> okay. Just walk with your axe above I, you. So if no, he jumps I, down, I, he'll I, land I know on baboons axe. are not to be <laughs> trifled with. You don't fuck with those things. Uh, as you guys look around, this is the only thing you see. And as you kind of stare at it and look at it, it kind of just like jumps away and disappears in the canopy. <gasps> Which direction did it go? Uh, it seemed to go off to the left, which um, off the path that you guys are currently walking. Okay, now I'm kind of stupid, but I'm kind of having that 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 brain moment where that that test of catch a monkey, let it sit in the sun, and then it runs off to find a water source or something just out of place. I vote we follow the baboon. What's Rare Jannar, uh think? He's just watching you guys. Okay. <laughs> what a magnificent leader. Uh, let's... Oh, so oh. he thinks this is also partly testing us. So, I mean, you said... A... Go ahead. I, kind of seeing that, you know, Rare Jannar isn't necessarily leading, kind of more pensively watching. Um, Guy, as you say that out loud to follow the baboon. Well, I don't say the story bit, but I, I say... Well, if it is local fauna, it probably knows something more than we do. I would suggest we follow it, at least to see if it leads us anywhere. Well, nothing ventured. I'll take your lead, Master Gaius. Uh, if, if I can just be a voice of opinion here. Hi. We did hear stories about man-eating plants around these oases. And... That monkey's traveling through the trees. That means he's probably avoiding the ground for a reason. So if we do want to follow him, we probably shouldn't do it on the ground. Milo turns to Reshar. Reshar, are there any mountain plants in these oases? I've heard stories of them, but... I, I don't know. Oh, the MEPs? I don't believe they exist. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, is there like a path that isn't vegetate that like isn't full of vegetation or like has le less amounts of vegetation though that's walkable? There seems to be like kind of a variety, but there is like a there's not like a trail. This doesn't look very well traveled, but there is like areas where the foliage does kind of naturally carve out, possibly due to animal paths, maybe something of that yeah. nature. Well, I I would suggest I would point those out to everyone. So if I can be an above game voice of opinion, if we're looking yeah. for vegetation, specifically a flower, we're probably going to have to traverse vegetation. So we might just have to take the risk of running into said man eating plants. Yeah, fuck it. We're we're in the like, fuck it fuck we around ball stays. We, 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 we ball like, on. When as far as above above game stuff goes, just yeah. as a reminder, because I do have the notes. 
Um, we were told that it tends to grow near oases guarded by nymphs. So, yes. So we're Just so that everyone still right has there. that information mm -hmm. fresh, because I know it's been a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what? When you, what, I'm gonna say, do you mention that in character? I mean, we were all told that, so you'd know that. Yeah, okay. okay. You know what? So. Gaius kind of like his ears perk up and he looks to everyone else. I have an idea, but it will give away our location if something is watching us. I and mean, we haven't been necessarily... watching us, it already knows we're here. I was going to say, we haven't necessarily been particularly stealthy. I right, turn around, shout out to the Oasis in uh, Sylvan. Does anyone reside within the Oasis? You hear some bird calls. There's no other reply. Uh, as we get closer, uh, Gaijin, you can detect Faye, yes, perchance? No. no. <laughs> that is that is nowhere near my realm. None of us are ra just... ra I could I could throw up detect magic to the extent, you That's know, That's more what that I was thinking do. is you might be able to snap out magical <clears throat> essences. Uh, if you, you will you give me ten minutes so I don't burn a spell slot? I mean, we're, we we probably already spent ten minutes here. <laughs> All right. You guys want to take a ten minute Do sit down? Yeah. All right. I guess we ballin' then. Just a just a thirty thirty foot radar of of illusions and other fable shittery. It's really claustrophobic because there's a lot of like you know trees and other things that are quite thick mm -hmm. um however just the faintest just the faintest wisp of enchantment magic is oh. peppered throughout this mm. place mm. That's what I was, during that's what i was expecting uh while milo is ritual casting uh detect magic um can uh taking a bit of soot and salt can uh Strigal cast comprehend languages ritually during that 10 minutes Go for it. Yeah, that's what that's what he will do. Well, gentlemen, I say we follow the monkey. I would agree. What exactly did you call out? Oh, a plea for communication if something Faye did live here. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm noticing just a hint of enchantment around here, but if there's fey involvement, that makes a lot of sense. So just keep an eye out for illusions and... Well, if it's enchantment, they might be mind-altering spells. I was about to say charms. Aye. <coughs> Rajar kind of just, like, wipes his... rubs his, the side of his nose a little bit and kind of looks towards you and is like, Sorry, carry on. Is he okay? Fuck it. Probably yeah. the monk. Wait, 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 Hold the fuck up. Is he allergic to flowers? Inside him. That's what I was going to <laughs> I have advantage because I am I got a fucking stone giant in me. I rolled a soft 20. <laughs> I have advantage to insights to <laughs> recognize people's sciences. 13. <laughs> uh, Eskan, you actually, in the corner of your eye, possibly through the reflection of your goggles, when Milo mentioned, or I believe, I, I'm so sorry, someone mentioned mind-altering spells. Mm -hmm. You see, as you you notice, Rajar's face go very flat, like mm, a little bit, and then by doing so, he kind of coughed awkwardly, as if like he did like a bit of a sharp inhale. Ah, uh, got it. Mm -hmm. Can you spell it out for me? Because I don't got it. Uh, he's been mind altered he's, before. Yeah, oh, like, gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. He doesn't like mind altering stuff. It is. It is like, the he's not good at defending it. He has right. been Tom fuckered by mind control once before. Above game, low wisdom save. Yeah. yeah. Which is yeah. Good to know. I have some. Follow, follow the monkey. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is a very uncomfortable walk. There's a lot of like clinging onto trees and almost like jumping over yourselves. Bro, uh, that's easy for me. <laughs> oh yeah, you're having a great time, but it is still like you get lashed by vines. You have to kind of like you know twist out of spaces. You know twigs get caught in hair. 
Milo, I, I am my boomerang. To yeah, push back? I was about to say it's a miserable time for me. You got big uh, poofy it, hair, and it is a free real estate. Stragol will, Monty. Stragol will yeah. normal cast. Uh, sorry, real quick. Uh, normal cast tensor's floating disc so that Milo can be not oh <laughs> covered I in flesh. She can just stand on that. I was actually gonna say since Gaius and Iskan are in the front, can I use my bone meringue to bushwhack and like cut away anything that would be in our path? All right, as you you, you want to, yeah, you can easily do that, yeah. Yeah, I would like to do that to make the make the traversal a little bit easier. As you bring out your boomerang and you lash at the plants, you begin to hear hissing above you. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh. I will look up. You know when animals have like that reflective iris that's like really creepy? Yeah. 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 Except you, it's in the tree? You mean the, you you mean all, the pupil, I assume, right? Yeah, the pupil, sorry. You all turn up and you notice staring down at you is about 20 baboons. <laughs> oh. That's cool. We made it through the convention. amount of baboons. <laughs> the baboon can Oh, wait, no. The... There's a word for this. A congress of baboons. Oh, my oh they are a congress, aren't they? Yeah, that's what it's called. A group of monkeys. Yeah. Called a congress. congress is in session, boys. <laughs> yeah. oh, Money. No. Who are first on the agenda is to kill these interlopers. <laughs> Money. Yeah. Do they have any magic tomfoolery about them? No. Ooh. However, one of them is holding a fruit. Oh, no. Fuck. It's oh. swallowed oh, no. all over you again. turn around. I wonder what he's about to do with that fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Unpeels they, the fruit. And it's a gun. See, so do they seem pissed off <laughs> that we're gun chopping banana down from the foliage, or do they seem pissed off that we're anywhere near their land? They're just staring at you. It is slightly threatening. Is there any way to roll a check to figure out if they appear to be preparing to attack? You get the sense that they were going to attack. They would have by now. But they're just cool. watching. Let's keep going before they change the Cool. Uh, I'm starting to dislike this plan more and more. The moment you take one more step, all of them scatter. Mm. They know something we don't know. Mm. Hey, Rarejar. Mm -hmm. If the green thorns were going to be here... Uh, what would be a good way to communicate with them? I have no idea. Uh, Great. Uh, if, somebody, if somebody had a spell if, that could communicate with so them. All the, uh, so all the baboons ran off, yeah? Yeah, they just, like, the moment you guys stopped for a second, saw them, and the moment someone took one more step, they just scattered. At nice will... Totally. Oh, I was, I was gonna jump yeah, up and three. I wasn't so quite can... done, but... Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know any common languages that they speak? Druidic. Oh. Wait. Wait. Where are we going to find one of those, though? Hang, hang on. And he's going to, like, think back to the wordage on the... Um, oh, gosh. What were they called? The monuments that we discovered that had druidic on them yeah the way standing back stones way, standing way stone. back in Hearthland, yeah um wasn't uh, one of them was like some kind of greeting wasn't it i mean it was a while ago it was a long I, time ago I'm did you write remember. it down because where when was that a long time ago. I don't. I don't have the I notes for that. Unfortunately. Let me let me check my thing. fucking uh, cork just, board yeah, here. I'll, you know, around what other events was happening, and I can find it. Uh, you guys were turning into trees. Mm -hmm. Oh God! That oh God, yeah, that, that long back? ago. Okay, yeah. Hang on, that's first notebook oh, shit. Boy, Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> first notebook. Open the mind palace. <laughs> ah, uh, my, yeah. My my obsidian notes don't take place back then. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm That's sorry. before Acorn, right? Yeah, well, uh, it was after Acorn. But after you guys, yeah, you guys were second, cursed. You made your way through, I believe. I always edge. Uh. Fuck. Trying That's to awesome. find the standing stones. Yeah, literally, if the mayor's notes, it says the standing stones. They were they were mostly for keeping like, it was sort of like a. Stonehenge-esque kind of construction. Ooh, I got to... it. You found it? I got it. Uh, okay. Um... 
So we are currently... No, that won't help us at all. Um, but, 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 but. Well, okay. Would you allow me uh, an intelligence check? Piecing together what I was able to read from those to, like, just basically come out with a hello in Druidic? Sure, yeah. Uh, that's a 16. You're, you think about it, you're like, possibly this. I'll try this. And then you, you yell it or do you just like say it? Like, how do you cadence it? Very, very tentatively at first. It'll be like, hello. And then a little bit more, a little bit more confidence. Hello. No response. Well, I don't know if I got it right, but judging on no response, I think we might be on our own. I'm going to use jump to leap into the top of the tree. All right, you leap into the top of the tree. It's so easy to climb too once you're up there. There's so much like vines and, and footholds for you to easily climb. Hell yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh... Do I see anything outside of the herd of baboon that ran away? You see your boars currently vibing outside of the perimeter of the oasis, and <laughs> in the opposite direction, you actually see a sort of, like, center, like an eye of a storm, where there are no trees. You can't see what's there, but it is it is a clearing for certain. Uh, typically, I... flowers need a lot of sunlight, correct? Aye, they would. Uh, I will... I'm not gonna actually get down from the tree. I'm going to, like, grab a vine and just, like, hang there and just, like, look down at the rest of them. I can see a clearing off in the distance. Why don't, don't we head towards that? <laughs> Sorry, Dan. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. S same, same brain cell. Same brain cell. All right, well, I will... Gaius will... Become, return to monkey and use tree to jump across <laughs> to, to lead tree the to fellows. Tree, to tree, to tree. Are you from do Monty tar Lumberjack, leaping you do from tree to tree. Are you Tarzan? I, I suppose I am. Athletics. Watch I was say, you can break E8. I was about to say, I have jump at will. But are you going to Tarzan, anyway. though? I'll do yeah, it this, anyway. is, this isn't for success. This is for flavor. Oh, for flavor? Okay, six. Oh, you're yeah. Good. Look you're at that. For style points. 21. You, you watch as Gaius just starts, like, swinging from vine to vine and is doing, like, like jungle parkour. Mm. <laughs> he Hell is yeah. Tarzaning it. Just, like, Liv lived in a lush on the vines. all my life. Let's go. Hell yeah. He's grinding. He's pulling oh. a Sonic in, in jungle. I was escape. about to say, blows up! <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. Can you show me? Hit the oh, Christ air. No Hit the Christ air before oh. you. I. I, I... <laughs> oh, shit. Even flow. I don't want to <laughs> <there>. Even flow. <laughs> as you follow, I'm assuming you guys follow Gaius as, yeah. as he is Kirk. <laughs> no, he's on his own. It is difficult. There's a lot of stuff to kind of push through. But eventually, the foliage does break slightly, and you can actually see what the clearing is, which is a large body of blue, green, beautiful water. Mm. Milo, you mm -hmm. detect magic on the water. This is like, it, it's a bit more dense here with enchantment magic, but it seems ambient or passive in oh. nature. Oh, it's an enchanting oasis. Now I see. Fountain of youth. <laughs> uh, everyone, you hear that? be on your guard. You watch as bursting in from the trees, off to the left near the water, comes a massive, giant gorilla. Oh, no! An absolute monster oh. that immediately bangs its chest, this nope. giant gray gorilla, and roars. And I need everyone to roll initiative, please. No! Ooh. Monty! 
Monty, I need you to know the absolute like real PTSD response I just had. Yeah. I had a I had a character get killed by a giant gorilla in a campaign where it wasn't supposed to be a serious encounter. Well, and now you're going back. To ah! that okay, I'm good. I'm totally fine. Back to back gorilla deaths. It's happening. No. Oh, it's, happening. it's an eight oh, for my okay. initiative. Ooh. Fifteen. Fuck me. He may move slow. He uh, can't jump high. I swear to God, if I lose another character to a fucking Tom, giant monkey, I'm quitting yeah, you're D&D. You're a druid. You're gonna die. To this shit. Uh, oh also, God. are we really about to slaughter an ape straight up? We're so being attacked. Don't fucking curse it more, Bosco. Coconut gun. All right, here's uh, your map. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Can't even be excited about the map. I'm just terrified. Whoa, oh, that, that is fucking that is just a nasty. straight up monkey. That ain't a natural sized gorilla. No. That is not okay. No, it ain't. Here we, you know here, we, here we go. You know what I just realized, gang? Calm emotions do not work on anything that isn't humanoid. Mm -mm. Uh, you guys can place yourself anywhere inside of the green space. You know what? Not I think funny. I'm. I think Getting I'm good right here. Left. I'm gonna be true to story. I was towards the front, I was in the middle. All right, is every. <laughs> I spitting to die today. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Oh. You're good. Just hit us with the general Kenobi. Quit you for Riley function. Uh, I just want to cough in the microphone. Someone's enjoying their D and D asthma, hey. and they're hey, just uh, like. More like more like D and D asthma. Right. What's up? You ready to tank? Damn, I'm ready. If you are, you ready to flank? Let's do it, baby. I got you. Hey. You ready flank. to flank? I'm, I can get behind there. I'll, I'll, yeah, let's flank him. Okay. It's the tank flank. Da, 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 da. All right, sorry, it's gonna be too. I love here. this freaking song. It's so bomb. Big I, gorilla. Yeah. That bass line is so sick. Big this is, I think, one of my. This is what I think Lorian's best that he's done for us. All right. Initiative has been rolled. I'm Real ready quick. to go. Uh, like, Gaijin, is Milo mm -hmm. still on the floating disc? I guess. Okay. I don't know why I wouldn't. That's yeah, totally fair. I just, if I move, then the disc also moves. Oh, well, I will dismount then. I worth, don't know that. Yeah, worth pointing out as well, this is difficult terrain because everything here is is really <clears throat> thick and lush. So. Oh, that, that's yeah. awesome. Well, it's if you stay on the disc, tab. if Milo stays on the disc, you are immune to that because you're floating well, above it. Thank God I can jump. <laughs> yep. I was gonna say. All right. Roll for the monkey. That is going to be. Oh, that rolled really well. Mm -hmm. Also, hot damn. There's a lot of four teams. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have Strigal first. We have Milo. <laughs> oh fuck! We're playing party animals. <laughs> Oh God! I still need to play that game. Oh, you yes. know that could be, that could be the title of today's episode. Party, party animals. Party animals. Party animals. <laughs> yeah, I still need All to play right, that. Let's spend some emo bucks. Let's go. <laughs> For some reason, I just got a scene from Ace Ventura in my head, and I need it to leave. Big go. All right, Otho. As this thing comes crashing through the foliage, barreling its chest, teeth bearing, what do you do? Uh, all right. Get behind rare jar and stab him in the ass. My, my, <laughs> my allies, do they seem to be like pulling out weapons and, and getting into a ready stance? Boy, You're first, you know? my guy. You're first, <laughs> You're so you don't know, dude. yeah. All right. You set the pace. Uh, Otho will simply he'll approach behind Kai. Uh, he is going to take the dodge action and he's going to uh, he's going to look at the gorilla and he's going to whisper over to Kai and Gaius, don't look him in the eyes, I'll take it as a challenge. Uh, and I'm going to use my Master of Tactics to give the help action you got to it. them in case they want to attack him. Oh, fantastic! Uh, Here I go! That, that's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Alright. 
That brings us to Kai. It is now your turn. Alrighty then. Uh, Kai is going to cast Expeditious Retreat on himself. Okay. Um, and that will allow him to get behind the monkey. Uh, and oh, then he shit, will, okay. And then he will ready action attack when Gaius attacks the gorilla if he does so. Okay, held action to attack. You got it. Oh, actually, Correct. technically, you can't hold an action. You casted a spell. Uh, it was a bonus action to do expedition. And you still used your turn, though, unfortunately. When you hold an action, it can only be a movement in the held action. You can't do a bonus action. It's a whole turn, action. yeah. It's a whole turn, yeah. You might as well just swing. Yeah, just yeah. swing. No, fuck it. I'll take the dodge action. Okay. Right. You got it. All right, that brings us to Str Strigal. It is now your turn. All right. Strigal is going to cast a uh, blur on himself. You got it. And we'll move one, two, or it's difficult, so it's two, right? The turn? Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, half two, speed, three, four, unfortunately. Five, six. Moving to cool. here, uh, which does make Milo move just one diagonally towards me. I would hop off at that point. Oh, fair enough. Uh, that is Strigal's turn. All right. Milo, at the top of your turn, uh huh. Your detect magic, uh huh. Detects an aura of transmutation on this monkey. Oh. Oh. Mm. Well, well, well. Transmuted monkey. Trans monkey. However, it is your turn. <clears throat> Good for that. I I will call out. Guys, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm sensing trans. <laughs> I'm sensing transmutation, magic on this monkey. It, it might actually be someone. Uh, with that, um, darn, I don't want to hurt him now. You know he what? I'll, hurt. He hurt us. I'll, I'll, I will use my action to make a plea, Monty, if you will allow me. Sure. I'll call out, listen, I don't know who you are, but we don't mean any harm here. Roll a persuasion check. Hmm. Come on. No, no. Oh, no. I'll say that takes your bonus action. Okay. You still have your action. Uh. Can, can I use my action to say one more sentence? Sure. Okay. Guys, try not to hurt him. All right. Milo does not choose violence this day. Puts All right, Gaius, it's it so now far, your nobody's turn. Taken, nobody's taken the first strike yet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, you can grapple him. You can grapple him. Literally anyway. be in position to do it. We're flanking. Make, make yeah. my Gaius grow. Make your hey, Gaius grow. A, yeah. <laughs> Challenge him to an arm wrestling match. Athletics with flank to hold this fucker in place. Flanking does not give any bonus to athletics, unfortunately. Pee pee and also, I can't stress this enough, poo poo. Crapple! <laughs> okay. would, would my help action aid in this? No, I don't believe. I, uh, let me double check. Master I'm pretty sure help, help action. With checks. Oh, right. You did master tactics. Does it specify yeah. what it does specifically? Uh, so you, you can use the help action. action as a bonus action. So does help. When you use the help, when you use the help action to aid an ally in attacking a creature, is 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 grappling considered an attack? It's well, here here's what I was going to do. I was gonna use the arm arm with subdue damage. So non lethal damage. Non lethal. So you are attacking. I am attacking. Yes. Well, then that would absolutely then fall within the purview advantage. of master tactics. It specifically says an attack. Yep, because I'm going to unarm hit oh, him. Hold and... on, I'm looking, I'm looking it up. Just give me a second. Uh, yes, you do get advantage, yep. As written, so. All right. Fucking here. However, it does have advantage because it's still a size category larger than you. Or no, I, 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 think he's, I think he's attacking, not grappling. Oh, you're attacking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm doing subdue. Okay, non-lethal. Cool. Yep, non non le I'm doing exactly what fucking satyrs are supposed to do. Hit him with the horn. Twenty four. Wait, that that twenty six. Just flank. That hits. That definitely hits. 
10 plus. Big damage. Four, 14 bludgeoning damage as Gaius headbutts this fucker right in the forehead. Pretty good. As you headbutt this thing in the head, it's like a kaiju battle. I imagine you go arm in arm and then you headbutt this thing. Hell yeah! <laughs> I... Wait, I hit him, so... Can I... Oh wait, no, I used bonus action to go giant, so I can't grapple him with bonus action. Alright, I'm good, that's my turn. Alright. It is now the Grey Monkey's turn. Mm. Uh, it is going to attempt to grapple you. Oh, mother. So you competing got... athletics, please. Hey! One, let's go. One taste oh. monkey. Take that monkey. Where did my dice go? Primate. I don't think gorillas technically. Wait, do they? I don't even know. Yes, gorillas Sorry. are primates. Mm, monkey. Oh. But are they monkeys? Yeah, get them. No, you they are tang. apes. Exactly. That orangutan doesn't have a prayer. Mm, monkey. That that joke doesn't work for this one. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-eight from the monkey. What? It's whoa, a giant whoa, monkey. Can I use my reaction to stone rune him? Is it specifically an attack because it's grappling you? Uh, let's let me let me double check that for you. Uh, I always thought the... grappling is. A I thought you form it of takes attack. the attack. You can to use grapple, it, it as one of your attack actions. It's. I don't know. It. it uh. Your call. The, your call. The, the yeah. only reason it, it does that for me, Monty, is because I took the one feet. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Stone rune, blah, 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 and a creature you can see ends its turn within 30 feet of you. You can use a reaction to invoke this rune. So it's when it ends its turn. Yeah. So on the end of its turn, tur on the end of its turn, I'd like to proc the stone rune. Okay. <laughs> it just falls asleep immediately. We're just For its there. first <laughs> goat falls asleep. For its first attack action, though, it grabs your horn and then grabs one of your legs and lifts you above like King Kong. Oh and then God. fucking throws you. What the fuck? <laughs> I would like Strigal and Otho. I actually have to roll the hit, actually. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yeah, I am dodging, so. Yep. Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 on you, Strigal. Wait, just disadvantage. Disadvantage, yeah. Advantage. Uh, that is still going to be a soft 20 to hit you, Strigal. Uh. Higher. Uh, and then Otho. Oh, okay. Otho, you might be good. Uh, yeah. Natural one for Otho. So, Otho, you, you managed to, like, you know, time, quick, you know, what is the term? Um, yep. Quick time event, jump out of the way. <laughs> and Stragal, you're like, where are you going? Enough. As just the giant body of Gaius hits you, Stragal, you take. Stragal's okay with this. Gaius damage. Uh, I'm rolling the damage weapon. right now. Oh, Lordy. You take 26 points of bludgeoning Whoa. damage. <laughs> Stragal is down. Oh All right, Sergal, you're oh unconscious. And the monkey, like, just beats its chest and screams. Can I rock the stone rune? Yeah. It is a wisdom saving? Wisdom rock? 14. Imagine if he fails and just falls over after he that. He is a monkey, so maybe Soft he'll... 20, I'm very sorry. Oh. You rolled really well. Motherfucker. Uh, that ends monkey's turn. Uh, Eastgan, it is now your turn. Really? Before Vershar? Yep. No, it should be Milo's turn, right? I already went. Oh. Already went. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Well, okay. Uh, uh I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, occupy this space here. Uh, reach down. Uh, as, as uh, he's gonna pull out uh, a sprig of mistletoe and grip it in one hand as he's gonna reach out and uh, cast Cure Wounds on our good buddy Stragal there. Hmm. As soon as I can find the Cure Wounds to cast. Here it is. Boop. Here it is. Boop. Beep. Boop. Hey. Uh, enjoy some 10 oh, HP nice. back. 10 HP? Nice. That's yeah, better than zero HP. It sure is. And nice. as a bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and once more with feeling activate my starry form. Uh, in the form of the archer. I know you said not to hurt him, but he just hurt us. And I will go ahead and use my allowed uh, buh, 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 spell attack, which I will go ahead and roll ice knife just to hit, but it won't be ice knife. Got it. 
one day I'll program in. This yeah, remind me, remind me to do that. I should do that for you. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Big target, absolutely hits. Okay, so he is going to take, oh my God, too many character sheets. 1d8 plus four. Uh, he's going to take nine radiant damage as the uh, telltale glow of the stars, even in broad daylight, comes from Iskan's eyes and scales. You got it. You blast the center of this monkey as it's like beating its chest in victory. You blast its head, it shakes its head, and you just see wow. as it snorts and steam comes out. This is not great. And that'll be turn. All right. That brings us to Rare Gerard. Rare Gerard leans on a tree, crosses his arm, and just yep. watches. Yep, I figured. You I had a feeling. Asshole! Fuck you, Rare Gerard. We got this. Bob the turn order, Otho, it is now your turn. <laughs> Sees like Strigal get creamed and he like. There's a crater the in the earth, by the way. Like there's a <laughs> Gaius crater it. in the earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Gaius gets All up right. and you just see Strigal yum shot in the. <laughs> yes, yes, we're doing this. Uh, Otho's going to instinctively reach for his rapier, but then he's going to pull his hand away and he's going to whip out Law and Order. Hell yeah. Oh, shit, the first Kong Kong. one. Executive producer Dick Wolf. Forged by Dick Wolf. Uh, he's going to whip law at this fucking gorilla. Uh, gorilla non lethal. Non lethal. You got it. <laughs> oh, gorilla. That fell. Uh, it's a... <laughs> Dude, there's so many 21s. Let's go, yeah. no, Connor. That hits. Alrighty. That is no. No. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, What is my... It's me, ta. All right. Well, firstly, it's going to be 1d4 plus 5. So, 8... Eight points piercing damage. damage, and then because Kai is right there, damn yeah, right. Non-lethal sneak attack. Non-lethal sneak attack. You're goddamn right. An additional eight. Additional eight sneak attack damage. You throw the dagger. You know the the Silent Hill thing. There was a hole here. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah. There was a nipple there. It's gone now. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> As your brand new masterwork dagger finds its way directly into the chest of this gorilla. Non-lethally carve the nipple of this gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that won't kill a, kill an ape. It's that scene from <laughs> Daily Lives of High School Boys. There's a dagger flying by. <laughs> what a very specific reference. <laughs> and I'm more shocked that I got it. That was your action, uh, Otho. Anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, yes. Bonus action. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Master right. of Tactics. Uh, uh, for Kai this time. All right. Master of Tactics for Kai. It uses its it uses its arms to move. That ends your turn, Otho. Yep. All right. Speaking of which, Kai, it is now your turn. Sorry, buddy. I don't. Um, fuck it, we ball. Uh, Kai, uh, considering the conversation that we just had the other night, uh, is going to cast Ray of Sickness on this fucker. Okay, you are casting into melee, so you'll have disadvantage, because it's a ranged spell attack, I believe, or is it a saving throw? Uh, it is a ranged attack. Okay, so you will have disadvantage, unfortunately, to hit. Uh... However, I believe the Master of Tactics gives you advantage, so it would be a straight yeah, roll. Yeah, so it's just a straight yeah. roll. Yeah, that's a complete <clears throat> Fuck it, I'll do Shatter instead. Whoa. Uh, isn't that also still a waste? Because you don't use yeah. advantage at that point. Either way, it's going to be a straight roll because yeah. those are both ranged spells. Also, sorry, is Bosco quiet? Yeah, just... you're quiet, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Quiet. That's all right. I'll just scream. There you go. Too. Perfect. Thank you so much. Just move into the mic, Bosco. Yeah, just be close to your mic. I, I'm right next to it. Uh... Be in it. <laughs> I'll just open the 
be the mic. Become the microphone. Uh, all right. Fuck it. I will. I will bonus action use ex expeditious retreat to get away from him then, because I don't want to deal with that. Isn't it already just cast on you? Yeah, it's already cast on you. Yeah, but I have to use the bonus action as part of like that. I'm using it as like the movement. It doesn't count as casting a new spell. It's just a bonus Correct. action. On yeah, turn. yeah, you can yeah. do it. Oh, again. Oh yeah, you get, you get the okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry, my bad. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and then I'll cast. Um, there you go. There you now, now you have advantage. advantage. Yep. Um, here we go. I'll do Ray of Sickness like I was supposed to do. Uh, twice. Advantage. 23. Yeah, there you go. 23 God hits. Damn. All right. Uh, I will do this at level two. Okay. You do need to call the level before you roll. Oh, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so do be sure to do that. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it ride, but in the future you that have to call bad. the level right. before yep. you roll. Yep, yep, that was my bad. Uh, uh, 16 so points of damage. Holy 16 shit. 16 okay. points of damage and a DC 14 Ooh. constitution saving throw. Okay, let me just Come get on, the damage real fast. Poison is twist. such a good status effect. It is, but the, it, I know his con is going to be at least good. I was God. about to say, there's a lot of things that have poison immunity. I don't Gorillas, think it's immune, I don't think one of them. con is probably no. going to be good. <clears throat> Sorry, so, really weird math. I apologize. No, uh... Constitution saving throw. Okay. Con, yes. It is. It is a rather thick and wide monkey. I figured. Yeah. However. Uh. uh yeah. Twenty-one. Unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ah. All right. But that's a lot the of damage. Give it. The twenty-one take it away. Take, take it away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Is that uh, in your turn, then, Kai? Uh, no, because I still have my movement. Because technically, that was a bonus action to move. I'm gonna go. Remember, it's half way. half movement. It's typical terrain. Oh, then that's my full movement. Okay. Yeah. Uh, turn. All right. That brings us to Stragal. It is now your turn as you are like, oh! <laughs> uh, Stragal is going to cast another blur on himself. Got it. And uh, is going to move one, two, three. You are there. you are prone when you're revised. You have to take half your movement to get up, unfortunately. Right. So we're going to so, move one. Yeah, only one. Sorry about that. You're good. That's your turn. Milo, it is now your turn. Oh boy. All right. Uh, Milo arches his back to expand the glowing wings. I'm going to take uh, that's for action. I'm going to get 30 feet up in the air. And one final warning. This is your last chance to stand down. And I'm trying to look intimidating in my uh, small lit form. Intimidation check. Lit. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Because we are we are invoking violent. Oh, 11. Aww. <laughs> Oof. The gorilla just laughs. <laughs> oh, oh, let him laugh. Next turn, I'm it will sorry. be fun. I'm sorry. I just have an image of, like, the King Kong, like, with the planes, but it's fucking Milo, and he's just like, oh. <laughs> 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 oh, he'll be feeling the machine guns soon if you don't back down. I am. All right, is that on your turn, Milo? Yeah, I assume it didn't do anything. Gaius, it is now your turn. Can I use the lag bite non-lethally? Yeah. Excellent. I'm gonna fucking slap the flat side of my goddamn great axe upside this fucker's head. Whack him. Whoop. Kick Just him in the kick crotch. Him right in the face with your sword. My fucking great, my new great axe made out of a fucking dread worm. <laughs> Here great I go. Axe. 16. 16 hits. Cool. Hold on. So, Ooh. holy shit! Holy that shit! Max? That's not even max. Plus two, so 17, but I'm not done yet. Action surge. Okay. Let's go! Here I go again. Yes! 20! Wait, no, that's the wrong That's the wrong ability. I meant to click on. <laughs> it's underneath it. I meant to click on Stalagmite. Is it the same modifier? It is the same modifier. It's just a I'll, plus one. I'll allow yeah, it to yeah. go through, yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, it's my okay. Ma my mouse slipped, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Sorry, my bad. Oh, you would have hit anyway, so there you go. Ooh! <laughs> 16. All right, another 16 non, non-lethal. Okay. Oh. Bonus. No, actually, I can't because it's two-handed. I did it two-handed. Okay. You did do it uh, two-handed. Wait a minute. 
Wait a wait a fucking second. Hold the fuck up. Let me double check this real quick. Oh, roll, roll, roll. Go down, go down, go down. Uh, you hit a creature with a weapon. Fire rune. Fire rune. Okay. Fire rune. That is strength saving throw. Strength saving throw. Oh, this thing is pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, that is gonna be a soft twenty, unfortunately. Whatever. I had to try. He does still take damage. Fair enough. A bench can have a roll below twenty. He does take fire damage. He still takes fire damage. Yep. He's damage, right? No, it, nope. uh, let's see. It's, it's just straight. The save is just, just to two. avoid being restrained. Uh, yep, it's just 2d6 fire damage. There you go. That's still damage. Put it on him. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. I was just like, I don't care if I keep him restrained. I just want to go for raw. Here I go, 2d6. Wow. Let's fire! <laughs> let's go! Oh, Dyer. crap. That is something. Oh my god, this monkey's getting smoked. All right, as you uh, you let loose the blade, there's a gentle gonging noise, and like the monkey like does like the turn and stares at you as you're like holding the weapon to its face, and then it just erupts into fire, and the monkey shrieks and like pushes away your blade as you singe the side of its face. Yeah. Last chance. I'm gonna I'm gonna say in Sylvan because I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Last chance. Stand down. All right, that brings us to the monkey's turn, assuming that ends your turn, Gaius. That is my turn. All right, monkey beats its chest, cracks its knuckles, and let's go for some monkey punches okay. on you, Gaius. Oh, those are deadly punches. First swing. Uh, that actually was really bad. <laughs> uh, that is gonna be a, a 14 to hit. That misses. Wow, I Good rolled stop. real shit. It swings and you like, you know, dump some kind of roll out of the way, like a boxing match. Fuck it's gonna yeah. go for a second punch. Uh, that is gonna hit. That is going to be a 24, I believe, to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oof. Definitely hits. Cool. Uh, Imagining I'm... Donkey Kong Mario Kart noises happening. <laughs> 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 Or Funky Kong. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, I love his noises are so loud. Uh, as you like dodge the first one, a monkey uppercut comes in and hits you right square in the gut. You take 23 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, oh my, my god. Oh. I didn't guess guess what though, monkey? I didn't hear no fucking bell. Hell yeah. That ends the monkey's turn. E scan, it is now your turn. Half speed. One. <laughs> Two, three, I can see Monkey and Gaius. With the right hand, he is going to cast Healing Word on Gaius. We got Yay. it. Here it comes. Ooh. Bloop. Bloop. Enjoy eight HP. That's the most I could give you. No, that's, that's some good HP. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And with the left hand, as his eyes glow once more, I will. Oh, I can't because healing word is a bonus action. Yeah. Well, in that case, right. he's gonna go ahead and pull out totally, and it is time to throw the boomerang of justice. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. That is wow. a 19 to hit. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. And it you're never gonna believe this. It does. One damage. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. As there's like this fucking epic kaiju battle <laughs> happening, you guys watch as Eastan like stumbles over some of the shrubs and then does like you know reaches out and heals Gaius's wounds, and then you watch as he swings out and you just hear a gentle, gentle quotation mark, but a but a, a tonk noise, like a hollow noise, like yeah, literally. <laughs> However, the... Eastan, you watch as your boomerang comes back and you're able to catch it. Heck yeah. It does what it's supposed to do. The fucking Pimations animations of Freddy Fazbear, where it's, <laughs> it's fucking, you can shine a light in fucking uh, Foxy's eyes. Oh, fucking, oh, oh God damn it. <laughs> Honestly, he, I'm just stoked I actually did damage with it. On the first throw. The first throw, it did damage. Yeah. And it oh, hit. It'll never hit yeah. again, but that's all no, that matters. No, it won't. The and the one. next time, it's going to do zero damage. So it's fine. Oh, man. 
All right, that ends your turn, Eskan. That will be it. All right, Rare Charge's turn. Rare Charge is watching. He's not like idly watching too. He is like really analyzing what you guys are doing. Oh, though, it is now your turn. Otho? Yeah, I'm thinking. He's thinking. Uh, He's the master of tactics. I'm thinking. Pulling the strings. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking. It's very good. Uh, I'm trying to see if both of both the target and the person who's being attacked needs me within 30 feet of me for this. I don't exactly know. How high is Milo up in the air right now? 30. 30. So he is 50 feet away from you. No, he's not. Well, the he's 20 feet away and 30 feet up. Yeah, but that doesn't change how far he is away because it'll always be the highest amount of the Oh God, the what is happening? Pythagoras yeah. would like the to trash. have a talk with you, Monty. Oh, no, 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 no. For, for, for D&D, it's a straight line up and then it's a straight line from character to character. So at most, he's 30 feet away. It, it's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Let the DM cook. I am. Right. I will. That's, that is the way I have run it ever since starting the game, and that is the way I've seen it ruled. So I don't. It, this isn't science. This is a game. I'm sorry. I will pull out order, and I will also fling it at yonder gorilla. Yonder gorilla? <laughs> yonder Very well. Non lethal. Non lethal again. Great, babe. Get him. <laughs> Uh, 14? 14 hits. Hey! <laughs> so, this will be D4 plus 5. Uh, 6 piercing six. damage plus. 6 plus. Ooh. 10 sneak attack. Oh, oh yeah, baby! Sneaky. You throw yonder dagger. There was a nipple here. It's gone now. As you get the other one on the other side. <laughs> Law and order have claimed not my your nipples. <laughs> no, no, Catman, please. Not my secret third nipple. And then I will use Master of Tactics. Uh, I will, I'll look up at Milo. Mr. Brightbeam, it doesn't appear that he's listening. Perhaps you have a more persuasive argument. And I'll give him Master of Tactics. The hearth burns bright this day. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> Do you imagine if someone, kill. if someone put like missing nipples on the bingo? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! I, have I that be like the concerned. middle part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that one guy. Turn. All right, that ends Otho's turn. Kai, it is now your turn. Yay! Uh, all right, I'm gonna use all of the movement that I currently have to get back to where I was, which is 30 feet exactly. I'm gonna get behind him to flank with guys to help him out. That's with your bonus yeah. action. Uh, yeah, correct. Ooh. Uh, okay. My movement and my bonus action, so I'll have to use it both to get there. Uh, so now I have my action, which I will now use. Uh, Kai is going to pull out his rapier and stab this motherfucker. All right, you have flanking. I do. Stab him in the ass. That's a no! Oh. oh, no! Oh. I'm going to roll severity. That's all right. What's the worst that could happen? It sticks in his ass. Uh, seven. Uh, it sticks in his ass. Uh, but they don't notice it, apparently. The meatiest part. <laughs> I did stab his ass. The meatiest, meaty the meatiest, strongest part of a monkey. You, you got the you got the moral attack. It, that's all that matters. I, look, I distracted it so that you could hit it, okay? Oh, hell yeah. There you we go. You slaughter the small bug that was on his ass. <laughs> uh, I all right, is that, it? that was my turn. That's great. And now I'm in punching range. That's great. All right. Stragal, it is now your turn. Stragal is going to move one, two, three to here, uh, cutting up narratively some of the brush underneath with his halberd and launching a catapult at level two at uh, Monkey. Got catapult. it. Catapult. I love catapult. I love uh, catapult. I the fuck is fire throw, ball? 14. Okay. Fireball, never heard of it. Catapult's my best friend. It'll just be non lethal. Monkey is not the most dexterous. 
Ooh, 10. That is a failure. All right. That is 17 uh, non-lethally as he kind of launches a bit of hard debris and wood at the monkey's face. You unearth a mossy rock from the deep earth and you fucking just reel that thing and it bashes up against the monkey's head and you watch as his entire body thuds to the ground as the magic fades. And you see lying on the ground. Good. An ancient and elderly looking knoll woman. Oh. oh. Who's flat on oh. her back and pulls both of like Otho's daggers out of her, which she's wearing like leather armor, pulls them out and just drops them to her side. And then she just looks up and goes, I'll be done with it then. Looks we towards Gaius. Uh, shatter. We aren't. We aren't no. here to. <laughs> Ga- Come Gaius on. like looks down at her. And then just holsters his great his great axe on his back. We aren't here to kill you. Uh, not part of the natural order, are you, then? Hmm. It makes sense, I suppose. Gaius, like, grabs her by the back of whatever article of clothing she has and pulls her back up on her feet. I am old and ancient. Your firm hand is appreciated, I suppose. You put her on her feet? Yep, I help her on her feet. She is wiry, scraggled gray fur, covered in, like, tattered leathers and just moss and wood and little bits of things here and there. Let me let me spook her. I shrink back to size standing in front of her. You're welcome. Ah, uh, rune knights. Always gallivanting around, thinking they're bigger than everyone. No, I don't. I'm 5'10". Uh, what? <laughs> Numbers. <laughs> the way of civilization, I see. You know, we didn't have to fight. I told you we meant no harm. We had to fight. Oh, we did? Cool. Yeah. I, don't, I don't feel as bad. Why did we have to fight? Because there's a natural way of things. You enter my grove, I defend it. You kill me, it's your grove now. Milo is so so perplexed right now. (laughs) Everything in Delvari is so stupid, I don't understand. This is Delvari, this is nature. Names for places is is a civilization thing. Well, allow me to assure you, this grove is still yours. We do require assistance. That's what we'll take from you. Uh, assistance is the way of the civilized world. What, animals don't help each other in the wild? I was about to say! Uh, you are a predator and I am prey. That feels so counter natural. Hold, hold the phone! Stop right there! We're not predators. We're, we're omnivores at worst. <laughs> uh, that's not. Uh, he, we're completely both ing- he completely ignores just... the logic. He's ignoring the logic at this point. I'm just, uh, talking uh, to the null. Uh, uh, we're both up. predators. Maybe you're just not the alpha in this interaction. Okay, listen, enough. Look, lady, we're looking for a very specific flower. Can you help us find it? Uh, flowers are the way of nature. Finding right, things. Yeah, but it's a very specific flower. Could you help us find a specific flower, please? It's really important. Oh, specificity is the way of civilized world. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We need this flower to stop a very unnatural disease, which is not the way of nature. Hmm. Undeath, I don't think, it falls under nature's purview. Oh, undeath is... Ooh, shudders at that. <laughs> <laughs> so you should help us restore balance to nature by finding this flower for us. Oh, stop twisting my arm. I'll help you. Thank you. Please. Take back your pokies. And she kind of kicks your daggers <laughs> towards you. 
Ugh. He just like like wipes them on the <laughs> on his pant leg. Got to get rid of the nipple blood. Interestingly enough, yeah. no blood. There's no blood on them actually. Oh, oh nice. Ah, they were oh, fake isn't. nipples. Ah. You, have an, you have a name, Hasted ma'am. Nipples. Names are the ways of civilized. Folk. What do we call? Is there a what thing do we call? call you? <laughs> I'm going to call. I'm going to call you grandma then. Oh, well, I was going to tell you my name is Chessa, but if that's what you want to call me, oh, whatever okay, Chessa. Suits you. No, Chessa, that's fine. Thank you. Chessa. 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 You wouldn't happen to be a uh, member of the. Oh, it's in my notes. Green Thorns. Yes. Oh, memberships are the way of civilization. But... Christ alive. <laughs> Can I ready to shatter? Maybe we should have killed her. Like, maybe. Maybe there it's the was... way of nature, guys. Green thorns here before, yes, but they went off to become prey, as is deemed by their will and Nidia's guidance in their minds. But assumptions are the way of civilization. They're all fools and young and stupid. Yidia. Yes. That's the goddess of nature they were talking about before. Goddess is not the word I would use. They are um, a god goddess, uh, both, in that sense. A but yes. That we are nature itself. We are mere guests within your forest or oasis. Would you be no. able to show us? Guests are the way of civilized world. Could you I... show us where this flower is, please? You have not told me what the flower is you're looking for. Is you just said you want the is... flower. If if you recognize the name given to it by civilized folk, Esavido is its name. Oh, that flower. It's quite popular these days. Last time someone came stumbling around looking for that, he was dressed all up in metal and seemed very determined. Mm, yes, that would be, uh... That would be the man from... Uh, it's in my notes. Fuck. <laughs> Viscar Luke? He... Uh, Vis Viscar Luke. No. Vyscar, he said his name was, yes. He said he was here for some reason, some purpose. He was very, what would be the word for it, determined. But if you must, and she kind of waves her hand at you. Every, when this woman moves, it's like every crack in her bone just goes oh. off. Oh, no. Oh. It sounds like a puppet, like, moving. I'm sorry. I okay. immediately just pictured the tails gets trolled. Shadow breaks every bone in his body when he moves. Guy is... is it, on, 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 go ahead. It, it, he's gone. Yes. I, I still have... Uh, ow. You know, Milo's over here with all of these bandages and healing Fucking spells. Do it and... then! <laughs> no, no, no! He wants Eastgun heals. Eastgun's gonna help him. He's gonna help him walk. I was just going off of where we were on the map. Yeah, uh... I'm. I'm. For the sake of of story and flavor, Eastgun is going to support you and help you walk. But I don't have a whole lot of spells left. So, <laughs> drag me over to Milo. Well, 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 so the desperate come crawling back, I see. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I want my own. I wow. need healing now. <laughs> All right, you got max HP back from me, Holy buddy. My shit. healing hands give you eight. Thank you. I hate the young people. <laughs> um, she fucking says that. Gaius is actually, like, nearby. Unfortunately, he's, like, because this old lady is, like, I like druidic and old and shit. He's kind of unfortunately channeling his grandmother through her, so he's like near her, like ready to assist her with something. Well, like like with her walking and shit. Come on, Grandma, let's get you back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Say, he, doesn't like, say, he doesn't say anything. He just keeps like close by to like show her, and she's like, "I'm ready to help." And then I turned into a monkey and fought the interlopers. <laughs> That's nice, Grandma. Let's get you back to the home. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting late. We don't want you to start getting racist again. What's oh, this no. flower you're looking for again? Uh, Who has the picture? Vido. I don't know the name you must describe it. Who to. has uh, I'm gonna just, game? I'm just going to say, I don't know who has the picture, but Iskan did recognize it, so I'm going to have him describe it to her. 
I remember specifically rolling a nature check to remember it, so. Oh, she recognized yes. the name before. He's old. Yeah, she's old. <laughs> Senile. This Damn only it. used to be orange groves, far as the eye can see. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rivera, yes, the word was said. The man found it himself. But, uh, she kind of looks around like, nah, like looking nah. around the woods. Mm. Uh, it's the nymphs, old flowers. The left behind forgotten bits of her, I suppose. Is she no longer here? Eh, yeah, no, she killed someone's husband and the wife came in and killed her, so she's gone. Damn. <laughs> mm. She shakes her head side to side as if, like, you know, in solace, but then she says, Husbands and wives are the ways of civilized folk, nothing but trouble. Oh, looks back at Rajnarar. <laughs> he actually is like, huh? <laughs> like, he's, 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 he's like, what? not paying attention. <laughs> okay, oh, meanwhile, oh, Iskan oh, is slowly oh, creeping out of frame. Son, you just Otho got fucking is, called civil. <laughs> Otho is really like sucking down like emotions, trying not to yep. be annoyed with this woman. So is mm. well, Kai is not hiding it. He represents as well. civilization. Yeah, I know, right? We're just over here being like, oh, you know, noble lord. Yeah, maybe you should stop saying animals get put down, you racist. No, 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 no. Animals do get put down. Okay. No, that was a fair. Stop point. squabbling. <laughs> so that's why making okay. more noise oh, than shit. the birds. So oh shit! She can hear us character. Oh, Fuck. Shit. <laughs> oh man, that's why I was so. That's why I was feeling traces of the Fey. Mm, probably, I don't know. The Fey aren't of nature, I don't think. Are they? Guys Shit. looks at himself. I don't know. I think I am. Uh, you have. You just gotta like pokes your axe. That is not of nature. Oh no, it's not. I would. I would much rather be using these. He holds up his fist. Those are of nature. She smiles at that. And you can see that she's like missing tons of teeth. Yeah. And it's like Aww, every man. every tooth is uneven. Guy hey, just smiles at her. You knocked a couple of those out, right? Large white flower over here. And she kind of trots forward. <laughs> Come a long way. Civilization is quite far. He's, he's gone. Huh? I, despite having the an understanding of languages with the spell. Earlier you tried saying something I didn't quite understand. I... Was that a, a form of druidic? That's what I was trying for. I don't know if I got it right. I don't have a lot of experience. Well, maybe you oh, can Oh, yes, ask... I heard you yell. I just chose to ignore it. <laughs> but he, but, but he oh. did say it right. Right-ish. How would you say it? Paravuka, of course. Paravuka? Paravuka. Hmm. So we're looking for a white flower? Yes, large petals can supply the balloon light. <clears throat> you watch as she kind of walks and with just accurate precision walks over to a plot and then just points to like a, just a pile of foliage. Gaius moves over and pulls the foliage away. Underneath, you see, almost nestled in a nest, a singular flower that glows ever so faintly with whiteness. Blue veins on the inside, and these three sort of pollinators. I don't know what they're called, but you know the things in the middle of the flowers that tend to have the pollen? A pistol? Yeah. Yeah. Pest yeah. Of just a very light green sits. Flower, well, gleam, and glow. I believe we found it. I look over to Milo. All right. Now we, we needed this to be relatively intact. Yes? Should we take some soil with us as well? Well, I, I've kind of got a plan for that. Um, uh, Sesha, is it or? Um, it's Chusa, but yes. Just, just, sorry. Uh, may, may I have permission to take some of the soil to house the flower as we transport it? You kicked my ass, so yeah, it's, it's, it's your <laughs> oasis now Boom. by the laws of nature. Works for me! Uh, I'm gonna open the bottle. I'm going to um, put some soil in, try to transplant the flower, and I will cast a gentle response on it just for good measure in case I accidentally do, you know, injure it in the process or kill it. 
Gaijin, I love As you. It's it's gentle it's repose. Gentle repose. Oh, yeah. I was <laughs> Whatever. I'm Tai Bots. I was like, shut up. Very gently. Shut up. <laughs> you I'm know. Tai Bots. Really? Uh, All right, we're over. We're over. I know. I know. I know. I know. We're, I know, I know, I know, I know. we're <laughs> over time, and I have a head cold. Shut up. Gaijin, I have said <laughs> that exactly what you said so many times. Don't even sweat. As you pick up the flower and unearth it and place it inside of the very large jar that Aya has prepared, you place the, I believe it's coins, uh, atop yes. the petals and cast the gentle repose. And it, the flower almost stays still in some ways as you mm. put the jar on top and then put it inside of your bag. And with that in tow, this ancient null woman looking down at you and the last piece of the puzzle to save the children, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Let's go. Hooray. Hooray. All right. Boy. I have to, I have Hi, to Austin. say this. There is, there is a song called Civilization by Danny Kaye and the Andrew sisters way, way long ago that this woman is the embodiment of that song. Civilization. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay, stay right, right here. here. Uh, all right. I made my poll. You got two bongo, of us bongo, bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Bye, 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 Good session, bye. you guys. Yeah. Bye, Austin. We did it. Bye, Austin. Love bye, you, Austin. Austin, come, Austin. Come hang out sometime. Indeed. Well, before it gets too terribly late, we should go uh, head on out of here. Uh, let's deintroduce ourselves, starting with Gaijin Goomba, as always. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijinkoob every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. I should be fine by next Saturday. <laughs> Go watch my new video that comes out either Friday or Saturday. I went to, like, the most bizarre, like, Americana-obsessed, crazy-ass arcade with, with, like, stadium batting cages and, like, waifu bomber man and there was a claw machine for potatoes. For freaking potatoes! <laughs> Sick. Like, it, it, please, please watch. Like, if you don't watch anything else for me, please watch this because it's just batshit insane arcade Japanese goodness. I love, I love like UFO catchers and yeah, so much. <sighs> Boil a mushroom, stick him in a stew. Love a mushroom. That's me. Right on. Up next, we got Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat, sleepy Queen of the Pirates, Chonk Cat Bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. You can also find me on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. Sometimes I put stuff up there. It's kind of fun. I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, Friday, uh, I'm going to be doing sort of a streamathon, donathon thing. Uh, trying to get uh, some help recovering from a financially difficult month. Uh, just a bit, we're good on Bunny's bills and, and her health is great, so that's totally great. But um, I unfortunately have uh, had two computers totally melt down and die on me, uh, which is Ooh. that's uh, caused a whole lot of issues. So uh, hence why it will be on Friday instead of tomorrow, like originally planned, because I still have to finish putting one of my computers together in a way that's functional and able to access all the data to play games and stuff. It's going to be great. It's going to be so much fun. Um, but come on by for that. Uh, uh, LJ will be popping in and out. Maybe I'll do a little bit of music. I'll do uh, a little bit of gaming. We'll try and finish Stray, which was what we were streaming when my first computer totally melted down. That's a whole story, and that's a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you guys on the stream what the pipes in my water-cooled build look like after that meltdown. It's a doozy. And if all things go well, and according to Keikaku... Then Sunday, I will also be doing my three hour music challenge stream, wherein I spin a wheel, it gives us a genre, and I have three hours to make it. Last week, we made a jungle piece. Uh, it was finished. Uh, I say lovingly because the week before we did not finish. Um, I, but who knows? We might get something new this week. I've got a couple of things I've been trying to add to the wheel, like maybe, I don't know, Eurobeat, if I want to fuck around and find out. Might be a lot of fun. Come on by Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific time. We're going to make it happen. Then that's it for me for now. Right on. Up next, we've got Zeno Script. Hey, that's good. Really what are you up to? I'm going to make this quick for the sake of those who are tired. You can catch me Mondays, 7 p.m. PST, twitch.tv slash Zeno You can also find me on Twitter at uh, Zanny underscore Grimm. 
Uh, what I'm doing will be posted there. Uh, until next time. Bye. <laughs> right on. Now we've got Zito. Where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito. Tomorrow I will be playing some sponsored indie games. A lot of really good ones literally just came out. And goddamn, they're actually kind of really sick. And I hope you all stop by because the fact that they are sponsored means that the more people that show, the more viewership that is made, I get paid more. So that that helps. If you Even if you don't donate or do anything, as long as you're sitting in the chat, it helps the numbers grow. Uh, Friday, I hope to be playing uh, Lethal Company with a few friends on top of like trying to get some more multiplayer stuff out of the way. Uh, and Saturday, uh, Sunday is cards, of course. It's always cards. Cards forever. Cards is Sunday. Uh, please go check out my toothpick plush, my, my little possum character that you see around in my emotes and shit. Uh, I have to sell at least another 70 of them. Another 70 of them? within uh within like seven days uh i know if we could just reach the 200 i will break even but that break even will help me fucking survive while i also try to get a job this upcoming week so uh you know it'll help me immensely if you could purchase my son excellent edward bosco where can he find you what are you up to you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Very nice. Very clean. Uh, and finally, we got Monty Glue. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. You can find me on YouTube as well and on Blue Sky. Tomorrow will be Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And then Friday will be Final Fantasy. And Monday will be Mass Effect. Jazz hands. Excellent. As for me, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com, as well as Tumblr and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, you know what's up. Uh, got some stuff. Tuesday's going to be interesting. Uh, yes. Uh, also check out my DMs Guild. Just released the Fulgromancer's Spellbook. Uh, be on the lookout sometime. I'm not going to put it date on it this time because uh, I need some time to be able to work on it but the Photomancer spellbook should be uh, should be in production soon here the uh, spellbook for all of your light based spells interesting stuff for you paladins and uh, clerics there light based that is correct Ooh. uh and while I'm trying not to sneeze, uh, I'll also remind you to check out Ghost Runner 2, where I voice uh, Adrian Bakunin. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Uh... Your voice is so good in that, but also I need to kill you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can fight me in the first one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Um... That's about it for me, I believe. This episode is brought to you in part by Dire Dice. Dire Dice. Die Die Dice. If you want to want to run right. a monkey encounter, you probably roll with Dire Dice. Uh, eight. Actually, um, actually, <laughs> I'll fight you. Actually, I gotta go to bed. Oh no. Yeah, big same. Yeah. All right, go to bed, boys. Good night, both of you guys. No, we, we, need, we need to have a brief meeting before people go, oh. unfortunately. Oh, so hey. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, then I'll get through this as quick as possible. Subs. Let's go. Uh, head on over to diehardice.com. Use our code unexpectable to save 10% on your order. Uh, check out our spring store. We've got stuff. Uh, as well, uh, bits and subs are here now. Um, let's see. Uh, where do we leave off on our businesses? Bosco? Uh, I believe we left I actually off. wrote it down. Oh, did you? It was Bubba Bob. There you go. It was a bit uh, drop from Bubba Bob before a sub. I don't know who the sub was, but... Alrighty, then. Zan Wind, thank you for the 42 months. Reaper Harlequin, thank you for the 50 bits. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 100 bits. Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. Bubba Bob, thank you for the... 
additional 100 bits. Uh, Mega Waffles, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, Ascend Venomed, thank you for the 18 months. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 4 bits. Blackfoot Fairy, thank you for the 63 bits. Game Master Ant, thank you for the 100 bits. CG, thank you for the 100 bits. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 4 bits. Zanu Mizana, thank you for the 40 bits. Zen Lita, thank you for the 100 bits. And Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. All right, who do we want to raid? Uh, Bracky's on. Bracky is on. Like uh, the world, of world of Wildcraft. World of Wildcraft. World of Wildcraft. We haven't raised Bracky also... in a while. Let, let's, let's raid Bracky. Let's give Bracky love. Wow, wow, wow. Bracky's been on for nine hours? Holy God shit. dang. Is he still going before we raid? Yep. It sounds like it, yeah. Let me, All let right. me take a look. What let should our raid message be? Wow. Yeah, he's still going. <laughs> a Congress uh, of baboons. <laughs> Nipple Congress. <laughs> yeah. Nipple, Nipple Congress? Congress. Right. Sure. Why not? That's, a, that's a good Bracky message. Let's go. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> See you next good, week. Goodbye. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be healthier. Goodbye. Explain nothing. Yeah, to do, nope. <laughs> offer no elaboration.